Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the morning show. Oh my goodness, it's not our birthday today, but I tell you what, it may as well be. I am talking possibly one of the most jam-packed shows I have ever, ever seen. Does anybody want one of the rarest versions of Jade in the world? Because I've got that today. Does anybody want a girl's best friend? Because I've got that today. Does anybody want the most perfect strand of road like on it I have ever seen? Because I have that today. Do you want 10? No. 11 prizes to be won today by 11 different people. You have the chance today to win pieces made by our guest designer. You have a chance to come on our workshop for free. Not just one space is for that, two spaces for that and so much more. I've got to tell you all about it today, I really do. I've even got a DVD launch for you and the DVD is gonna talk you through the wonders of chainmail made by a wondrous lady I like to call Fleur Hastings. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, love, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, very skip. One to ten. How excited are you about your DVD today? Uh, about 38. 38? Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm, that is super excited, isn't it? <laughs> I cannot wait to uh, launch that for you. It's coming up at about 10 o'clock. Am I right in saying that? About 10 o'clock, that DVD is coming up for you. Um, so do hold on to your hats because there's so much coming up for it but your kits today as well yeah outstanding absolutely outstanding absolutely beautiful two chainmail kits so two mm -hmm. with jump rings in and mm -hmm. one stunning kit with the most amazing pearls i've ever seen color wise Demos wise, we are going to be doing a bit of chainmail, but a bit of other things yeah. as well. Yeah, we are. Yes, yeah. so we're going to do a, a little bit of uh, crochet yeah. in one demo, and then a little bit of very basic wire wrapping for the for the second demo. Fantastic! You do have the chance to win so many goodies today. You really do, but I'll tell you more about that later on. Fleur has come up with a little competition of her own today, which means um, it's only available from nine till 10, this competition, but it means you get to ch uh, win this gorgeous duo together. Yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And we have a text in for you that you can get involved with to, um, to win these two beautiful, beautiful pieces. Uh, we'll be launching that later on, in a bit, right now. It's only available from 9 to 10, so we'll do it now, will we? Start texting in. 6277 is your text number. Start your text with James Studio. And we want to know the strangest place you've ever found gemstones or findings, yep. isn't it? It is. Um, so any gemstones, any findings. Now, a jump ring is what Fleur's going to talk about <laughs> because she found a jump ring in a very peculiar place one day didn't you Fleur? I did I found a jump ring in the toilet. <laughs> how? I, do, I don't know why I, I've asked that. Yeah I don't know how I don't know why I don't know when I don't know how it got there but it was there so that was my very strange place that I found a jump ring in the, toilet. in the toilet so do you have a strange place that you found a jump ring or a find it oh just jump rings just jump rings mm. just jump mm. rings we're saying just for jump rings. Um, so a strange place you found a jump ring and you get to win this collection here, but it's only from nine till 10. So you've got to get those texts in quick. We will pick one at random later on for you. Um, I've got so much coming up for you that I need to get started. So how do you feel about, as our early bird, a brand new, beautiful mixed charm bracelet pack. Take a little look at what I've got here for you. You have the chance to create something that looks like this or something completely different if you wanted to because this is your mixed charm bracelet collection. Let me show you exactly what you're getting in here. Because you can use it to create your bracelet, but you can use it for so much more. So you do get the, uh, the bracelet base itself. And as you can see, it's completely and absolutely adjustable. So it will be fit in any size of wrist that you like whatsoever, which means one size really does fit all. It's super easy to get off. No need to fiddle with things like a clasp. All you have to do is, as you can see, sort of ease it apart to take it off your wrist if you wanted to. Um, so you've got that beautiful, it's nice and sturdy base there as well. It's got a nice weight to it as well. I've also got in here loads and loads of your charms. So. All of these charms you can put on in different looks, different places, different ways. You've got, oh, little heart. Little heart with your dimple in effect on there. Really nice textured effect. I've also got in there things like your four-leaf clover shape, your open four-leaf clover 
which is really beautiful. I've then got your um, hexagon shape as well that has that same sort of imprint as the, um, as the heart itself. I've got tiny, delicate little hearts as well. In fact, in, in two sort of sm sizes, one a little bit larger, one a bit smaller. And you've got that um, beautiful fan out effect upon it, which really catches the light, doesn't it? It means that your wrist wear is going to sparkle. I've got this one, which I think is beautiful. It's a bit of a unisex piece, actually. And don't forget, if you don't want to use all of these charms, you could quite easily make some of the open ones into things like um, your toggle clasps. Do make yourself your own T-bar, and you can use these as clasps if you don't want them all on that charm bracelet so you have actually got the chance to make four different clasps here that will look really beautiful i've got you a star and i've also got you in here a perfect circle as well which would be great to stamp onto you know a date a special date a special name because you know when we think about charm bracelets we think about memories don't we we're making a legacy we're making memories that's exactly what you've got here i've also got the gemstones look all of these gemstones come on your head pin, all ready to just be popped on to your charm bracelet. And you can do that with the jump rings if you so wish. I've got a beautiful selection here. You're gonna be getting 10 of each gem. So right in front of you now is of course the rainbow moonstone. These are all by the way, four mil and they are on that head pin all ready for you to go. I've also got really delicate, beautiful tone to these, really nice tone. Your light, gentle, four carats worth approximately of your rose quartz again in the four mil rounds. I've got Labradorite, which is just beaming light to me at all uh, angles. I mean, look at the quality of that. You can see those, that gold Labradorescence interacting underneath the surface, can't you? It's beautiful. Again, 10 of those in total. And last but by no means least, February's birthstone, the gorgeous Amethyst as well. Really beautiful effect on those ones. Just sensational. But I've also got loads of jump rings too. I've got 50 jump rings in here, which of course you can use, like we said, with the bracelet base, but you don't have to. How about just saving yourself a couple for your new chainmail DVD I've got coming up for you in a little bit. Six mil, those ones are, and you're getting 50 of them in total. You've got so much here that you can add on here. Don't forget, you know, just, just open up the jump ring, slide the jump ring on, and you've got your piece ready and raring. You can go wild with this. You could just, you could have, you know, every single one of the gems, every single one of the charms on it, a little bit like depicted on the box itself. Or if you wanted to, just one as a really simple statement. And don't forget, you know, you have got extra jump rings in here that are super duper sturdy. So, and, and you've actually got more jump rings than you have gemstones. So you will definitely have about five left over, sorry, about 10 left over of those jump rings. Um, but a lovely thing with this is, don't forget, one day you could really go for it, really add all of them on. The next day, take a few of them off if you want to. Take a few of them off, just leave one on there as a really beautiful centerpiece. Because, don't forget, once you've made something with this, because it is just jump rings, you can open and close them to change the design day to day if you wanted to. Or make something really special for somebody, maybe with their birthstone, maybe with their initials um, you know, imprinted into one of the, um, the beautiful findings that you've got here. Um, just to give a really gorgeous look and like I said before make your own class with these think outside of the box if you want to you could do beautiful earrings with these chainmail earrings if you've got any shepherd tucks left over and um, you could use these gemstones you know just within your wire work if you wanted to and maybe even just keep the bangle as you know a bit of a stash top up as well you have got here your silver plated copper mixed charm bracelet kit and it is a great kit it's a great way to get people started it's a great one for maybe your teenagers to get involved with it's perfect for that um or for you know jewelry makers who are just starting off and want to create something really beautiful um let me have a look in the box there is a picture oh yes there is look in the box look there is instructions on exactly how to use these let me show you so you see, there's a little bit of, um, you know, your photographs within there to show you exactly how to use it. Perfect for people to start off and great as well because it even shows you how to open jump rings. So great for those people really, really starting off who, who maybe, you know, aren't as sure exactly the right way because as a lot of us will know, there is a right way and a wrong way to, to open a jump ring because if you open it the incorrect way, it won't sit properly together. It won't close up properly together. So that is absolutely perfect for all of you. Um, get involved today with us. Silver plated, copper mixed charms set your price point 
is just £14.95 for you today to make yourself your very own charm bracelet. Now think of those charm bracelets that are out there. Think about those, uh, you know, big name charm bracelets and how much you can actually be paying, not just for individual charms, but even for, you know, the actual wrist section itself. They're, they're knocking up £40, £50. Yeah, they are. They're really expensive just to buy the actual starter bracelet. That's um, for that price. That's amazing. I would, for this, for this I would love to get this as get, um, Christmas presents because a lot of my friends and family now are getting into jewellery making because of what I do now. This is perfect for them. This and a little tool kit because all you need is your, you know, your pliers just to open and close those jump rings up, pop everything on and they've got a ready-made bracelet, like you say, that they can personalise for themselves. And the great thing with that as well is sometimes, you know, if you first make, diving into something like wire work yeah. can be a bit daunting. But yeah. with something like this, it's almost instant gratification, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You, you're not going to lose heart, are you? you no. just All you need to do is follow the instructions. And then once you've followed the instructions and done it as it, as it says on the box, then you can take it to a whole different level and have a little play with it and really you know, start to experiment with wire, with more gemstones, because you could add some beautiful gemstones onto there as well. Absolutely. It's a great one to have on your stall as yeah, well, actually, is. you know, as, as well as the uh, parents maybe are shopping, just to have a little cluster, maybe have, you know, a few of these ring, uh, sorry, a few of the bangles themselves, but of course you can make your own as well. You can make your own bangles or even if you just have a selection of stretchy there or a selection of ribbon, which I have got coming up in a kit for you which is just beautiful um, to make your own design and people can just pay perhaps for you know uh, however many components you want to give to them you can make your money back in just one of them then couldn't you easily uh, well done to everyone who got their hands on that I've got some texts to read out you are still coming in so grab these whilst you can strangest place I've ever found a jump ring is the cat's <laughs> water bowl that's a good Julie, one Julie that is a good <laughs> one a is good your one. cat good to chain mail yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be Teach amazing. Animals. Yeah. Because actually, I've seen animals in chain mail. Yes, there is. There's there isn't there. There's a guinea pig that wears a scale mail. Yeah, I've and then seen that. People do make their pet collars out of, um, do you know, we have the stretchy jump rings, yeah, the, 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 the rubber, rubber jump rings. Mm. People make pet collars out of those as well. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few sort of Facebook pages and websites and that that make pet collars but yeah you, there is a guinea pig that wears a scale mail scale armor. mail armor of course yeah. for all of those yeah. guinea pig battle <laughs> needs and um, thank you very much for that julie hello hazel good morning ladies found a jump ring attached to my jumper <laughs> after i had finished making chain mail hours earlier yeah. Please, Hazel, I love the idea that you would have kind of gone out to the supermarket and just found a link of chain mail. <laughs> That's I love good. That I like idea. That one. Hello, Dawn. The strangest place my hubby found a jump ring was in a plug <laughs> hole of the shower when he was cleaning it out, and that's from Dawn. That's good. Plug yeah. hole's a good that's one. That's a good one because how did it get there? Because that's not even falling out of your clothes, has no. it? No, <laughs> no. That is brilliant. <laughs> um, one fell out of my bra after a day of making. <laughs> Didn't even know how um, it got there. And that is from Ellen in the West Midlands. Yeah. I bet That's, that happens. Yeah, occupational hazard, that one, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it happens. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, well done to everyone. Don't forget, competition. If you want to text in now, Strange Place You Found a Jump Ring, you get the chance to win this pair of beautiful um, pieces. It's chosen at random as well. Oh, they're rolling around. I've got a challenge for you, lovely flirt. Now, it is the Chainmail DVD launch. I have got some sensational things as well coming up. If you've only just tuned in, you know, girl's best friend coming up, most expensive and valuable uh, type of jade in the world coming up. And I've got that new DVD about 10 o'clock that's coming in. And it wouldn't be a Chainmail show without giving you jump rings as your challenge. How do you feel about this one as a challenge, flirt? best challenge so far really yeah. yes it is yeah i i love chain mail and i love jump rings and i love creating different weaves with them and these sizes that we've got here are the best size now if, with chain mail we always talk about the sizes don't yeah. we we always talk just to let you know you know if you are looking on screen and you see seven mil that's talking about the od the out the outer diameter why are seven mil so great for so many weaves? Because some you can only use for certain, can't you? Yeah, so seven mil I, I find are brilliant for complete beginners because they're large enough to see where each ring goes into that weave. They're fabulous for all the Persian weaves because you need a larger ring because it lays flat. 
they're great as the um, the large rings for helm weave. There's so many weaves that you can do with these, but like I say, they're great for beginners and for, for people who are further along their chainmail journey as well, mm. because they it opens up more weaves that you can do. Mm. I've actually got some tools coming up for you in a bit for, that are perfect for chainmail. So if you are just starting out today, what a great day to start on. We've got chain, um, we've got jump rings coming up throughout the show. We've got some jump rings in kit and we've also got the DVD launch. So the last, you know what it's like, you know when you start something new, you start something a bit different. The last thing you want to do is be really, really into a DVD and then realise, oh no, I've only got 10 left. And then you have to wait for an order to come through you know two three four days depends on when you order and what ordering you do and and by that time you could have lost your train of thought couldn't you um get these today because that dvd is coming up for you get your jump rings throughout the day i've got golden colors coming up for you later on as well if you'd like the golden color and i've got some rose gold tone as well uh, coming up for you if you want an absolute bargain you're in the right place because i've got 400 of these and your price point today it's just nine pounds and ninety-five pence for you to get your hands on four hundred. Now, Fleur, you have bought jump rings all over. Yeah. Whenever I have jump rings on the show, I will inherently see your name pinging yep. up. Why do you purchase your jump rings out of everywhere you've already always bought them from? Mm -hmm. Why do you always buy them from here? because the saw cut is so perfect on these jump rings. So as they sit now, as you get them out of the bag, they are completely closed. You can hardly see the join. So when you put them back together as a, a jump ring, you can't see that join. There's a few pa places that I've bought them for where the join isn't as perfect. Mm. So you can always see where that join is. Whereas these ones are absolutely perfect. And the fact that they match all the findings so wonderfully because it's exactly the same color. So sometimes you'll get silver from one place and then silver plate from another place. And it's slightly different color. Mm. These are completely perfect. And it's, I used about 400 in the set that we're giving away as the prize in the yeah. barrel weave set. So that's about 400 in that. And so you could do a necklace and a bracelet with that for 9.95 and you've used plenty in there don't forget you've got the chance to win this pair the the necklace and the bracelet today all you have to do is text in weird place you found a jump ring uh, up until 10 i found a jump ring in my puppy hercules poo when i was clearing up after him <laughs> love sharon sharon that really uh, is love isn't it <laughs> is. isn't it and i've got a puppy i hope i don't Find. I've just got my new puppy as well. Oh my goodness, I saw a picture the other day and forgot yes. to say. Yes. Dolly Super Daydream. Toot. Yes, she is absolutely divine. Dolly Daydream. Yeah, and she sits in my workshop, she sits at my feet. So when I do drop jump rings, I'm sure she's going to eat a few, isn't she? Perhaps. I'll try not to because it's not good for her. No, obviously. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'll try and keep pick them up straight away. But yeah. How old is Dolly Daydream? She's nine weeks tomorrow. Oh, nine weeks tomorrow. I know. Proud it's like a mom. baby. I know. I love it. Oh, exactly the same with my dog. She had her, year and, uh, her two and a half year birthday the other day. It was great. It was great. I made a cake. Uh, this, I did. The strangest place my daughter found a jump ring was in her cereal. <laughs> Look, she didn't eat it. Lynn. Oh. Yeah, it's not like Hercules. You wouldn't have been able to find out afterwards, would you? Are you cereal? Are you cereal? See, they get everywhere. How they do get that? everywhere. I think. I think they have like little minds, minds of their, of their own, own yeah. yeah, and yeah. they do find themselves into weird places. Yeah, that's why I always drop them on the tweezers. It's not my poor tweezer skills. They have a yeah. mind of their own, yeah. don't they? <laughs> of course. Um, I found a rose gold plated jump ring um, in my underpants. I have no idea how it got there. Didn't throw it away though, <laughs> as if it was sterling silver. Yeah, I, I, can, I, I get where you're coming from there, yeah. yeah. Norma, that is, that is thrifty. Yeah. That is, I love that. Uh, <laughs> do you remember which piece you used it in or did yeah, you just mix it yeah, up? Yeah, just mix it up. Just, just mix it up. Pop it in the bag, all. yeah. Just give it a shake. <laughs> Marilyn's messaging, found a jump ring in um, the turn up cuff of my shorts. Um, <laughs> now that I, not that I'm boasting that I'm hot enough, <laughs> that it's hot enough here in France to be wearing shorts. Mm. Marilyn, I think it probably is, isn't it? Yeah, it's not here though, is it? Today? No, it's not. It's absolutely tipping it down, Marilyn, today. Tipping it down. In the turn up of your shorts. That's a good one. Glad. I like that, yeah. I think Marilyn just wanted to get that in. Yeah. <laughs> um, hello, Sally. She says, I lost a jump ring making jewelry on holiday in Cornwall. Another guest found it in her <laughs> shoe. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really so unusual. They do have little minds and they go wandering, and jump into people's shoes. Oh, finding shoes. Yeah, in that somebody else's shoe. Brilliant. Loads are you still coming in for this. You've got to get your hands on it quick if you want it. Because uh, you can see I've only got 40 left. Started off with about 170. Um, I found one in my grandson's nappy. It wasn't dirty, <laughs> so it must have just dropped in. Um, uh, dropped off me when I had uh, last changed him. And that oh. is from <laughs> It's just the shock of seeing them as well, like, oh my goodness, how did that get there? And then you just laugh about it afterwards. But yeah, they do, they see, they find themselves into the most weirdest places. That is brilliant. <laughs> how do, is that M M M Michelle? Michelle? Hi, Michelle. It says, strangest place I found a jump ring was attached to one of my hair extensions. <laughs> uh, hair extension nano beads. Uh, still haven't worked out how it got there. That is a yeah, skill. That's a, that's a good one, that. How would you get that in there? Down, I understand. Yeah, but Gravity, in. but yeah. up and in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that is a good one. I love that. Keep them coming through. Uh, don't forget, you've only got about 25 minutes left of that competition. Slightly more, actually, just seeing the time. Um, 30 of those left, 9.95 for you today. Well done, everybody. That is Fleur's challenge. Stay tuned to see what she does with those later on. Um, because, uh, as we know, she will be creating something sensational. Anyone fancy some 925? Anybody fancy possibly the most workable and usable and sought after of all 925s? Featherweight head pins. I won't lie to you, you're going to need these today. You are going to need these today. Trust me. The reason you're going to need these is because now and again, we have extremely, extremely high-end strands. Now and again, we have gemstones that due to their structures, such as with things like kyanite, it will be very, very difficult for you to be able to attach certain gems because essentially when we get the gemstones we've got to be really careful how we drill them because if we drill in slightly the wrong way or the drill hole gets slightly too large the whole gemstone itself will crack or be unavailable for you to work with obviously therefore if that continues to happen time and time again a we'll get loads of complaints customers send everything back but also if that does continue to happen and people do keep sending things back we essentially are going to have to cut more we're going to have to um you know take more time energy and money and essentially we will not be able to to bring you the gemstones we do at great prices because of course the more waste the higher the price point so sometimes in certain gemstones you will be having to have a very 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 delicate very very slight very very small drill hole within them you have got today the opportunity to finally add that beautiful drop detail with those gentle pearls that beautiful uh, chain um, link detail for your high-end gemstones such as the one that is here you also have the chance not only to be able to make those workable but also to give them the notoriety and the prestige in which they deserve because let's face it it's not the same for everyone and it's not the same for everything and it's not a rule at all but let's think about it this way sometimes if you've got a seriously high gemstone that maybe cost you a bit of money that is going to be a legacy to your family like this legacy gemstone i've got in front of you now you will want to pair that with something as spectacular as the gem or the organic itself i always think of it like a pavlova if you're making a pavlova you're working with the best ingredients say it's a special pavlova you are going to get free range eggs maybe from just down the road or from your garden you are going to be working with you know the best of kind of the best hand-picked strawberries that you've found when you've been foraging around or maybe those organic blueberries that cost a little bit extra but are just so so sweet you wouldn't spend all that time making them around with all of these high-end beautiful ingredients and then put some out of date cream in the middle would you and that's how certain people feel about working with certain gemstones and working with 925 alongside it. This is that beautiful clotted cream in the middle. This is that beautiful high end um, kind of finishing touch that is going to go through your gemstones. Even high end ones like this girl's best friend I've got coming up today's show. And it's also going to add the class because it is 925. You've got a hundred of these prestigious and usable pieces, your price point today. 
nine pounds and 95 pence nine pounds and 95 pence that means you're going to be able to finish off those beautiful pieces you maybe started and maybe thought oh i wish i'd not maybe used the copper for this one in particular because i love it so much you're going to be able to get 925 and that prestige with pieces like oh i don't know your jadeite stunning woe delight garnet perhaps that is just big and bold and beautiful but still sometimes has a small drill hole what about things like the possibly the most prestigious and well-known gemstone in the world that you have the chance to own today you have got the opportunity to finish high-end beauty that mother nature has created over millions and millions and millions of years and really finish it off in the way that it deserves to be finished off and that is with something that is workable something that isn't fiddly something that doesn't mean you have to get your um you know your ore out you know the one that has the um what's it called sort of the corks are on the top you don't have to get that out and you know go through each and every one of your pearls don't get me wrong i can't guarantee these are going to go through every single gemstone that you've ever owned but i tell you what it's definitely going to go through many many more than say the 0.6 head pins we do or even the 0.8 head pins we do sometimes because these ones are working out closer to a 0.25 0.4 closest to nine pounds and 95 pence i've got approximately 27 in baskets i'm being told I've got 34 available right here right now but there are still people on the phone and the things that's happening is people have realized that actually the things I'm mentioning the things I'm bringing to you the things I'm noting to you about the gems that we have on today you know you are going to want to work with these and it's just like I said before with the with the DVD launch you've got a 10 the last thing you want to do is get the DVD fall in love with it want to make all of the pieces and run out of jump rings it's exactly the same with the high-end gemstones you're going to have the opportunity to own today the last thing you want to do is get them home have a great idea in mind have a perfect gift for a true loved one in mind and then run out of the absolute essentials like this because let's face it sometimes nothing but a featherweight head pin will do and sometimes nothing but a nine to five will do i've got 10 left i know it says 20 but it's purely because quite a few people multi-buying and that number has to that number counts the people buying first and then catches up later with the quantity so um it's more like nine about now um well done everyone loads in baskets probably about 14 in baskets get those ones whilst you can and i cannot encourage you enough to check those out well done absolutely everybody i love these flora showed these to you earlier on um they are the black closed jump rings yeah they're gorgeous detail they're aren't they really nice detail and really sturdy these ones are absolutely beautiful i love these for, for putting these into chainmail patterns where it says add a closed jump ring because yeah. it gives that lovely detail so this against say the the nice silver that we've just done the seven mil silver ones that we've just done yeah, yeah. will show a real distinct pattern change but also just as um, mechanics for your earrings so when your gemstone doesn't sit the right way to pop this onto your earring finding first great for steampunk as well because Perfect they've steampunk. got that like, so if anybody's got any of the tim holtz findings and you want to put like a chainmail weave in between you could get the raw copper and darken that up and use these as well perfect for that um uh, gorgeous to set into resin actually really nice as in well. resin really lovely and also into jewel enamel and things like that because uh, um friendly plastic because that's got that high shine this will give that different texture to it and also as well it gives a really nice effect so even if you just push them into your polymer clay for like a stamp a almost for a texture mm, mm. really lovely but i i think these are great and if anybody is into chainmail try these out as well into your chainmail designs things like the japanese patterns the japanese flowers look beautiful with these mm. they are beautiful for that aren't they i love the idea that with jump rings in particular closed ones like this you can always open them if you want to can't yeah. you yeah you can yeah so you'll always see the join always i always cut it on the join so you'll see where it's actually been fused together yeah cut it there with your flush cutters and it will go straight back together um not as perfectly as a as a run of the a proper saw cut yeah, jump yeah. ring but then all you need to do is just nip that little point burr off, off. Mm. yeah just nip the burr off and then it'll go back together perfectly so you can use them in the same way you would chainmail as well but even just these loads of these on a stretchy bracelet yeah. looks as funky yeah, as you like really nice yeah i've done one in the first kit where i've put it onto some ribbon as well mm. so that they move along so you don't have to use all of them you could just have like a chunk but great for spaces in between some say some silver pearls you know just one so you'll get that beautiful rope texture as a spacer bead yeah really they nice. look nice in between those pearls you've got in that kit actually they would they? yeah the third kit would the look third one really nice 
Yes, beautiful. A hundred of uh, these in total. You've got, I've got over half my stock gone. Your price point today is just seven pounds and ninety-five pence. What do you think of the price of that? Because these are sturdy. You've yeah, already seen them. They and are tried sturdy. Them. Yeah, because I tried to see if they were open or yeah, closed, yeah. and they're really sturdy. For that price, you've got to give them a go because they will give that chainmail like what the square profile jump rings you did for chainmail. Give it that real sort of like high gloss look. This will give it that beautiful textured look yeah. all the way through your piece. Yeah. So yeah, I think that that for that price, I'd be getting a couple of those Absolutely. and adding it in with the silver, especially with the silver. I would personally put them with. Mm, I love that idea, kind of the juxtaposition of colours that would be gorgeous. Loads of you covered in for this. Over half my stock gone. Christine's messaged in. I found a jump ring when I was transplanting young tomato seeds <laughs> the roots had actually grown <laughs> through it that <gasps> that's amazing that's, cool. that's like when you see trees that have grown around like benches and things like that yes. isn't it that's amazing that is fab you also be, go on you could have a chainmail tree <laughs> you could Grow a chainmail tree. Grow a chainmail tree. <laughs> You're onto something there, Fleur. Also, just love that you've been, you know, replanting your tomatoes. Yeah. Love that. The smell of a tomato oh, when they're lovely. growing. Yeah, I love them. I love it. When you go into a greenhouse, cause I'm not, I kill every plant going. I'm not very good at it. No. The only one I've ever kept going was um, an orchid and it was by the kettle. I think it liked it by the kettle with the steam. Oh. And that was the only one that I've ever, I watered a plastic plant for nearly six months till I realized the water <laughs> spilled over the top. That's how good I am with plants. <laughs> but yeah, that I do love walking brilliant. into a greenhouse and smelling the smelling tomato it. plants. Yeah. Yeah, they asked them at a supermarket yeah. the other day. I was just in whiffing yeah. it. Um, I was in bed with my partner watching him sleep, as you do. He turned over uh, on his stomach and there was, there on his left buttock, an embedded jump ring. I discreetly, discreetly took it off. He had no clue as he's always moaning about bits of wire and gems always sticking to his feet. And that is from Brenda. Brenda, that is hilarious. <laughs> Dion, say, well, you sent in your customer number yeah. for us because you forgot uh, to send that in. Send that one in. She loves that one. Uh, send that one in. That is brilliant. <laughs> that is good. Because Mark's always saying to me, so health hazard, all this wire and jump rings on the floor. <laughs> the kids are going to eat it. Oh, <laughs> and now the puppy's going to eat it. <laughs> oh, wait. There's an extended one. I was in bed watching my partner sleep as you do. Turned over on his stomach and on his left buttock was an impeded jump ring. I discreetly took it off. He had no clue. As he's always moaning about the bits of wire and gems always sticking onto his feet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Let me close that. Hang on. Let's bring a kit, shall we? I've got kit time for you. Please don't forget how many goodies I've got for you today. You've got the chance, well, 10 people, well, no, 11 people with this competition that's finishing in about half an hour have the chance to win gifts and prizes today. I'll tell you more about it later, but do stay tuned. I'm going to head over there. on. Pardon? Most of it's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me. And the purple this one, one the, this one. And then the pearl one in front of you. And this one. I'm back with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for putting that head all the way over there. You're yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> that's what friends are for. Hello, Fleur. Hello. How are you? Yeah, very good. Not long for the DVD. Probably half an hour-ish. Yeah. Excited. Yeah, Excited. Um, how was this kit to work with? Absolutely beautiful. Is it? Really beautiful. At first, when I saw all the jump rings, I was over the moon because I've not, it's been a long time since I got a lot of jump rings in one kit and I was like, oh, brilliant. I can do so many pieces of chain mail with them. Mm. Absolutely enjoyed it. Loved the ribbon. I've never worked with ribbon before. Really liked the ribbon. I tell you, I did work with it in the designer inspiration, but I used it very, like, e very easily. Yeah. Um, you know, not very, um, nothing difficult. Mm. Memory wire is brilliant for chain mail as well. And the pearls fitted onto the memory wire, which is which what the headband is made. is made. really unusual. Yeah, really unusual. So I was really impressed with that, really loved it. And these purple flowers. Those shell are gorgeous, aren't they? They are, they're beautiful. And they're so beautifully carved. We haven't seen those in ages, I don't think, either. I've they haven't the been on for ages. I know we've had them in kind of the col corally colours and we have had them in purple, but only once or twice. I haven't seen them in a very, very long time. Uh, decent size drill hole on these, again, because they are shell. Were they yeah. good to work with? Yeah, lovely to work with. And as soon as I saw them, I wanted to do um, a Japanese flower because obviously it, it emulates what the, what the shell's carved into. Yeah. But no, they're really lovely to work with, really because they're substantial sizes as well, they take up a, a big chunk of, of, a, of a neckline piece as well, so you don't need that much 
chain mail to go in between. Yeah, of course you do. what I liked about them. I love that about them. They are beautiful. I love that shine and that glow that they've got on them. It works so well with the yeah. gold jump rings. It does, really does. And they're light as well, so they're not heavy because chain mail, you know, obviously with a lot of jump rings can get a little bit heavy. Of course it can. With these, perfect, because it's lightweight. It's lightweight, so it works yeah. nicely alongside them. These are those magical oh. pearls. They must be magical if they're going on to memory wire. Like I said earlier with the featherweight head pins, which did sell out, I'm afraid. But like that we said before with those 925 featherweight head pins, you know, a lot of the time, um, in particular on high-end gemstones, gems distinction gems, things like, oh, I don't know, diamond, um, you know, and organics like this, it, is, it can be incredibly hard to get a decent sized drill hole in. So the fact that these will go on to that memory wire and Fleur had no problem nope. at all nope. with them it just goes to show you these are a little bit special just to let you know about the pearls they are a six by five and they are just a mil off a perfect round therefore I've also got those shell that I showed you they're 17 mil so a really nice size and they go perfectly with the kind of weave you've done alongside yeah. them on that bracelet in yes. particular yeah they have really beautiful and um, speaking of the weave I have got loads of jump rings now surely these jump rings would be great alongside the DVD yep I've used all three sizes in the DVD which means that if you are planning on getting the DVD today, why not treat yourself to the kit as well? Because you're going to definitely have everything you need to get yourself set and on your way. And then we will have some bundles later on just as a little top up. But make sure you've got every single size because I'll be honest with you, apart from in this kit and maybe one later on, but I'm not sure. Um, I can't, we haven't got any individual packs of the smaller ones. No, 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 there's... Um there's not any of the small ones and there's not any of the large ones, I think. Mm. I think they're the six mil in the, the, the other kit. Well. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, this has got all three sizes, so you can do all the weaves that are here and a lot of the weaves that are on the DVD as well. So really quite imperative if you're planning on getting your hands on that DVD later on because you have got the five mil, the six mil and the seven mil and you have got 200 of each. And like we said, when we've got the individual jump rings as well, um, you know we're not sure that we're going to have these sizes for you so if you don't have them in your stash or like i said earlier you're running low you have to treat yourself to this kit right now because we do have different sizes in the other kits so five mil six mil and seven mil you've got in this kit um in that gorgeous gold plated copper and you've got of course the small medium and large in the memory wire which is what you've used as the base of the headband yeah. isn't it yeah so all of these today, including that beautiful ribbon, which is three mil in thickness, just so you know, it's going to be great for things like the finger knitting. If you don't, if you're not totally sure how to do that, lovely um, Gemma Crow did show us how to do it on uh, Design Inspiration yesterday. So do have a little look at that. You have got uh, 13 meters worth in total. So let's reiterate, gorgeous strand of pearls that goes onto memory wire, those beautiful shell we haven't seen in a long time, one of our newest colour of memory wire packs, one of our newest ranges of the 3 mil 30 metres worth of that gorgeous satin high shine cord, and a, seven, a 6, 7 and 5 mil selection of jump rings, 200 of each, perfect for the DVD, your price point today, for your vibrant violas is £29.95. That is amazing. The RRP of this was was way over £50. I did write it down, but the RRP of this was way more than that. Um, it was £29.95 just for this, you know, this huge collection today, which is a huge haven for you. We've had some texts in for your flair. My husband found two in the car, one in the boot, and one in the back seat. I never go in. Love chainmail. <laughs> Can't wait for the DVD. And that's from Christine. Hello, Christine. In the car. That's in, amazing. In the boot in and the boot. in the back. How? How? Hello, Alison. Uh, morning, ladies. You are both. Uh, you are looking fab, both. Um, poised and ready to grab my DVD. Oh, thank you, Alison. Alison messaged me lady. yesterday to say Did good you? luck. Yeah, Did bless she? Her. Yeah. Oh, bless her. Um, this is from Joan. Good morning, girls. Waiting for the DVD. Are the necklaces either side of you from the DVD? They're amazing. And that is from Joan. Uh, do you mean those ones over there? Um, 
the the barrel the barrel weave, weave one is, is isn't from it? The, that's from the DVD. That is from the DVD. We'll show you exactly the makes that we've got on the DVD yeah. later on, won't we? Because yeah. we have got those coming up for you. But yeah, the barrel weave one is. Um, vibrant violas for you today. Huge discount. If I remember the RRP, and that was about fifty four pounds. So twenty nine ninety five is just sensational. It really, really is. Um, K Y G C sixty five is your code on that one today. So get it whilst you can. It's just $29.95, great little price point for you. Okie pokey, lovely lady. Yep. What are we going to be doing in this um, demo? We're going to do how to go from box weave to Byzantine, because the Byzantine is what people start with, and then the next natural progression on would be the box weave. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the little bracelet this that's on there, the yeah. end, mm -hmm. um, that's next to the head that Becky won't go near. Mm, yes. <laughs> um, and as you can see in the middle, it's got two rings that are facing you, and that's the Byzantine section, and it's box weave, box weave either side. Yep. So we're just going to show you quickly how to um, start off doing box weave, and then how you can adapt that into your Byzantine as well. So for this one, I have used the um, seven millimeter jump rings, so the largest ones that come in the kit. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do to start with is we take two of our closed jump rings and we're gonna add them onto a piece of wire, um, just a scrap piece of wire, and this acts as a handle so you can um, hold it properly because what some people do struggle with is holding them um, without the wire because it, it moves around because mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're seven millimeter. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add two of our open jump rings to those first two closed jump rings. Now the key with chain mail is to make it flow is if you open all your jump rings and close all the jump rings that you need to close for that pattern, mm -hmm. it flows a lot quicker. Got you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let those first two jump rings slip either side open up the very first pair of jump rings mm -hmm. and we're going to scoop up those two black jump rings into the middle and pull it up to our Byzantine knot which everybody everybody knows yeah okay and close now the difference between box weave and Byzantine weave is with box weave we only ever ha add two um jump two rings. jump rings per section mm -hmm. in Byzantine weave we add three jump rings now what a lot of I get a lot of question saying oh my by, my Byzantine or box weave doesn't look the same because it's slipped down the very first one and people lose heart and they mm -hmm. can't do it this handle is great because if you pull the handle they will just pop back up into place so that's my first set of two I'm going to add to that another set of two and then we're going to do exactly the same again so this is quite a fast weave as in you you're constantly just adding two pairs and then doing your doing your um, knot mm -hmm. rather than the box the Byzantine weave where we add three three yeah and then we're going to again pull up those two and if you ever get confused as which two to pull up it's the two that aren't attached to anything underneath okay so they're completely loose they're not attached so we're going to scoop up those two there's one Oops. stay over there and two oh, I missed one look there we go Come so if you've you. missed one just go back and what I do is turn it upside down let the rings sit nicely together and then just start again and pull that one up and as you can see what we're getting now is we're getting a, a Byzantine knot next to each other so because it's a two in two chain we've got to add another jump ring in there to make the two so if you always remember that each layer has two okay yeah and then we just open those up so that's our two so we'll just do one more of our Byzantine weave and then we'll show you how then you'll make that into the uh, sorry into the box weave and then we'll show you how it makes that into the Byzantine weave so there's our two going back on so our first pair is the pair that we pulled up into the knot our second pair we've added to that and then open the jump rings take a new open jump ring pulling that up and close and then again, Alongside another it. one because it's a two in two chain. So that's our box weave section. Okay, so mm -hmm. they're all together, you can see there. So now to go to Byzantine, we need three sets of two. Okay. So we've got one set there. We're gonna add another set of rings. And then instead of folding those two back, we're gonna add one more set, okay? One more set to this. So 
So now we have three sets of two, and then exactly the same technique, we're going to hold then the middle rings, in this case the black rings, let the last pair fold down, open, and then pull up those two. And then if I just close that, you'll be able to see that pattern then has got that jump ring facing then into mm -hmm. the middle. I see. So that, oh, sorry. There you go. I see. So it's really difficult underneath my top. So we've got our box weave and then our Byzantine, Byzantine section. And then what you would do is box weave away from that as well. So do your box weave as long as... Uh, if you're doing a seven inch bracelet, do that for about three inches, do your Byzantine section and then box weave for another three, three inches, inches off of it. And it doesn't take that many of the jump rings either. And you've actually put it with a bit of your cord, so we use yep. even less. Yeah, so, oh yeah, because I've done some of the beautiful ribbon, haven't yeah, I yeah, too? Yeah. So I've, I've put the ribbon on there as well, again, just to make it a little bit more, some people don't like the full chainmail look, they mm -hmm. want um, a different colour in there as well, so that's a perfect way. So all I've done is added the ribbon through where I've got the handle here of the wire, yeah. add the ribbon through there, double it back and pop a, one of your ribbon cord endings onto it and that makes a beautiful bracelet that's very stable, it doesn't move around. Love that. Thank you so no much problem. for showing us that Fleur. 17 of those left but quite a fair few in baskets actually so do get checking out because don't forget if you want that DVD it's not long to wait at all, you're going to need this selection of jump rings and we don't have jump rings in every single one of our kits today so come on in and get them whilst you can, 16 opportunities left. Oh, do you think we'll find any jump rings anywhere strange today? Maybe, there may be something in the universe of fame. <laughs> yes, let's go to the universe of fame. <laughs> Um, right to receive, left to leave. What's that? Right. Right. Receive. <gasps> I'm receiving money. Is that what it means? Yeah. Got a really itchy palm. <laughs> um, hi, we're over here at the Universe of Fame. We're having a look at some of your mates. Do you want to start off? I do. And this one's number 331 and it's a beautiful classic piece. Um, and this is from um, Alana. And it says, hi all at JM, my entrant this week is a simple pearl and gold plated silver rondelles necklace with earring set. My sister-in-law was looking, for my, looking at my jewellery last week and fell in love with a necklace and earring set. The same style as this, but with peach pearls. She asked me to make the same set, but with white pearls, as she said it was the style that she could wear every day and literally go with everything. Well, here it is. I hope you like the elegant simplicity of it as we do. Good luck to everybody. And that's from Alana in Pudsey, West Yorkshire. That is beautifully elegant, isn't that it? That is so high-end looking. Beautiful. You'd see that in every boutique jewellery. Every, wouldn't you? yeah, it's Wonderful. gorgeous. I bet she Beautiful. loved it. Yeah. Thank you for that. Wonderful. I've got three, three, four right here. A few more pearls. We have got um, Hi JM Team. Um, this is a bracelet I made with grey pearls and silver plated filings. All ingredients from JM. I just love the chunky feel of the sizable pearls and the modern look of the clasps. It goes so well with many other things. Um, I used my new set of crimping pliers too. I don't know how I live without them until now. Hoping for a win, but good luck to everyone. Thank JM for great deals and inspiration. And that is from Nicola in Manchester. Nicola, I love the way you put a real funky yeah. clasp with that. Yeah, really Gives nice. Gives it a gorgeous twist. But 334 is your number. Okay, I've got number 332, and I can see some Ooh. beautiful chain mail here as well. And this is from Toria. I know Toria on Facebook. Hello, Toria. It says, here's my entry for this week. Um, it's a set of jewelry it's a set of jewelry using rainbow coated pirate and shell pearl the bracelet's been made um, using the dragonback chain mail weave and i love it everything is from jm except the colored jump rings in the bracelet jm can we get some of these pretty please good luck to all but especially me uh, as need more rainbow coated gemstones and that's from toria that's beautiful toria I love Dragon Bat. We did that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's a really yeah. lovely one. We will pass on your comments as well. I've got three, three, five. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, featherweight ones. head pin. Yeah. Um, I made a selection of earrings using opal, foie, black spinel, wow, emerald, and sapphire. Now, I can't decide which to keep. Um, <laughs> lol. Um, all from JM, enjoying the shows as always. And that is from Ali or Ali. And um, thank you so much. I love them. What high end gemstones? You've got good taste. Oh, I'll have to keep them all. 
I think I'd probably have to keep would them as well. All. Yeah. And a beautiful stand on my dressing table so I could choose which ones I wanted. Whichever. Yeah. Um, three three five is your number. And this one is number three three three. It looks a very high end mm. piece. This. Um, and this is from Sue. It says, "Hi all at JM. Here's my entry um, to this." this week's wall of fame it's a bracelet made from beautiful chrome diopside from jewelry maker in ethiopian opal and gold plated stone silver silver good luck to all in the drawer especially me i need more chrome diopside and that's from sue in lichfield don't we all so don't we all i've got two beautiful chrome diopside rings my mum bought me for my 40th and they are stunning beautiful gorgeous yeah, um i've got some of they'll go great with chrome dioxide coming up later in fact i've got two strands jade i go yes, beautifully with it, it as well as those it? diamonds yeah. i think you're going to be amazed yeah. at the price of the diamonds i know i most certainly was mm. um now ladies and gentlemen i have got after the break the dvd we have been waiting it will be with you in mere minutes so stay where you are for me Hi, my name's Kelly Higgins. I've been on the Introduction to Silver Clay Workshop today with Tracy Spurgeon. And uh, we've learnt how to make a couple of pendants um, and just taking the skills of how to work silver clay right the way from opening the package to firing, different methods for firing, a little bit of history of, of how silver clay is, was made and um, we've got two or three pieces to take away with us and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to do it. It's a fab, um, it's a fab day and I recommend anybody to have a go. Spend the day with guest designer Mark Smith making beautiful jewellery. Using simple macrame techniques but with an added touch of elegance with the incorporation of wire in your designs. Mark will be guiding you through five projects and you'll also learn how to wire wrap a cabochon. This course includes a selection of wire, a selection of gemstones, a pack of silver findings, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a visit to the Gemporium Museum, and you can make a purchase at the Jewellery Maker's shop. All of this for just $84.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewellery Maker offers an extensive range of creative workshops for all levels from beginners right through to advanced. Each workshop is run by our approachable tutors who are all friendly, knowledgeable and are specialists in their field of expertise. Our popular courses are tailor-made to suit your needs and to help you get started with a new hobby or to advance your skills onto the next level. We keep the class sizes small to ensure you get plenty of one-to-one -one attention, so book early to avoid disappointment. For more information, contact our call centre or visit our website. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. We really appreciate your support here at Jewelry Maker, so we'd like to give you something back every time you refer a friend to us. Once your friend's order is delivered, you'll both be rewarded with a free £10 credit to each of your accounts. Simply log on to your account or ask our call centre team to find your refer a friend code, give it to your friend and have them type it into the refer box when they sign up online. Alternatively, give the code to our friendly call centre team and they'll do the rest. So come and bring your friends into the fabulous world of jewellery making. Jewellery Maker, share your passion. If you're new to Jewellery Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and get started booklet all free of charge.
spotlight deal and in the spotlight it's Fleur and her DVD brand spanking new for you today you excited <laughs> yeah I am yeah. Um, I have got it right here for you F V T Y 53 Get call in the call centre because I tell you what, if you get in the queue in a minute's time, boy oh boy, you might be waiting quite some time. Get yourself on jewellerymaker.com as well. All you have to do is add this to your order. It's simple, it's easy to do, it's so, so easy. And of course, get us on your app as well. It's free to download from your app store and you can watch and order via that app as well. It's so easy and let's face it, if we're going to be starting something, we're going to get our new project DVD. We want to make sure it's definitely on its way to us don't we chain mail european weaves first off fleur yeah what are we getting with european weaves we're getting um a very simple starter weave to start with the very first one the chain mail um gemstone spine is very simple so if you've never touched chain mail before that's perfect. We're then going to do the inverted round mail and with that we show how to insert beads in the round mail as well so you capture your beads within the within the chain mail. We've got European 4-in-1 and we show how to add rows to European 4-in-1 and how to descend and increase European 4-in-1 so you can create the beautiful V um, like the, the necklace that's next to you. We do the Romanov weave, which is a beautiful I love flower. the sound of that, yeah. the Romanov. Romanov weave, yeah, it's a beautiful weave. Very simple, all it is is the Byzantine weave. It's, it's a very high impact look with a very simple technique. So we learn how to do that. And then the barrel weave, which is the, the one on the end with the Piece pearls. we've got. Mm -hmm which is just so, yeah. beautiful and if you've never touched chainmail before you can do all these weaves are um very easily achievable they really are we tell you what ju what's gem um jump ring size to use what roughly what pearls uh, what um gemstone size to use if you're doing the ones that have got the gemstones within them and the gemstone spine it's really simple we've broke it down we use the large colored jump rings again so you can see and the best thing about it is you can stop it and start it. And that's how we all, learnt, that's how I learnt my wire work by watching Laura's and, you know, everybody else's Gemma's DVDs and stopping yeah. and starting. So, yes, yeah, so if you've never done it before and if you if you are have done a little bit of chain mail, it's perfect as well because there is some weaves on there that you may not have done. So what are we going to need for this DVD? Two pairs of pliers. Two pairs of pliers? Yeah, chain nose and flat nose or if you've got two pairs of chain nose or bent nose pliers, um, which we have got coming up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, if you want to add gemstones, then just a basic toolkit. So your your cutters, your round nose pliers, and then two sets of two sets of pliers. So if you've got a basic, the pink handled one, you will need another set of chain nose pliers or bent nose pliers to go with that. Um, I always think, you know, I've got loads of pairs of pliers. Mm -hmm. Pairs, different pliers help with different sizes of rings as well. So these will be perfect for the smaller rings, the the jump ring pliers, the bent nose pliers, pliers that are coming pliers. up. I've seen so the that's price of them as well. They're on the bottom of your screen right now, the bent nose pair oh, is wow. $2.95. Well, for that, nose have a go, yeah. Because sometimes, with the, with the nose being bent out, they can um, they won't get stuck into your chain mail. So sometimes when you're weaving a ring in, the point of your um, pliers can go in. But with these as well, you can turn them upside down and use them like a pair of pincers to, yeah. to get a, a jump ring that's maybe not closed as properly as it should be. And then when you go back and look at the piece, very difficult with wide nose pliers to get into that piece to close it off so with these perfect because you can go right into that weave and uh, and pick up that jump ring and then close it and they do go to quite a nice precision point yes, which of course helps yeah. as well just to let you know these are on the bottom of your screen if you are watching on the app though you might not be able to see the bottom of the screen so I'll let you know what the code is it's S Z G X 13 one more time that was S Z GX13 is your code on these ones and they are going to be great for beginners and, and for everyone yeah, else really yeah. aren't they and oh, they're great for wire work as well not just for chain mail they are good for wire work because you can again get into those weaves get into the nooks and crannies yeah. can't you um, just to let you know it's up on your screen your price point for the DVD we all know is 4 95 for you that is a great price for you because if you think you're talking about around about an hour's yeah. worth of tutorial yeah. here you have got you know five individual different projects here and when you learn this skill mm -hmm. you know it's not just like learning a project really is it no you can take these all these weaves can go into all different types of jewellery so 
jewellery and accessories. So within a couple of the um, weaves as well, so the European four in one and the inverted round, we take it, so it's more like seven different techniques because we show you different techniques within that weave as well. So you can use chain mail for clothing, you can use chain mail for accessories. They're not just, it's not just the piece that you're gonna learn, say the necklace, you can take that then into a bracelet, earrings, you can make rings, we've made a ring out of the Romanoff, say. You can take it wherever you want. Mm. It's, um, it's a fabulous medium if you've never used it, and it works brilliantly with other mediums as well, mm. really well with other mediums. I use it a lot with macrame. Um, I know when on the birthday show, me and Laura did a joint um, necklace where we use wire work and chain mail together, absolutely wonderfully. Mm. Um, just let you know, sold over 500 of those. Do keep coming in for them. Lots of you with it in your baskets as well, so do check those out. Um, we've had, um, we are just having, we know we've had a few texts in just about the pliers. We're just having, Dion's having a little look into it now, and I'll keep you posted on that, so no need to text in anymore. We know that some people are having a bit of difficulty, but we'll try and sort that out for you. Um, you have got your chain mail European Weave DVD here, and I want to know. Is this beginners? Is yep. this for only for people who've, you know, done chain mail numerous times before? No. You can start, if you've never picked up a pair of pliers to do any chain mail, even if you've only just started on your jewellery making um, journey and you've maybe done a stretchy bracelet, mm. you can do these projects very, very simply with mm -hmm. this DVD. The first one on the, on the DVD is literally just a two into one chain and then we just thread the gemstones down the middle. So it's a very simple but a very high impact look. And that's the thing with chain mail, it's the simplistic um, techniques but with a high impact end. So, and every piece, what I love about chain mail is every piece comes out the same. So everybody that's just bought this, your pieces will look exactly the same as my pieces. There is no sort of like, you can tell that's a, a beginner piece and that's mm -hmm. an expert piece. There is nothing, uh, there's no sort of like comparisons. They are all the same. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you need to just be aware of when you're doing your chain mail is just your ring closures. And once you've got your ring closures perfectly and with the jump rings that we sell here at Jewelry Maker, they are perfect because they will go back together absolutely yeah. perfectly. So Perfect, half your job is done with, with these fabulous jump rings. And yeah, you can create all those pieces. And chainmail is quite a relatively um, inexpensive way of creating jewellery because you know you can get, what was it, 600 jump rings we did at the, the 400 jump rings, sorry, for, for £10. Mm. So you could create a necklace and bracelet. With Just that. to let you know, the bent nose pliers, you're having trouble because they've sold out. I know they're still on the oh, they have sold out, have they? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so ignore them. They're, they're not, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, they have gone. Um, how much, how many jump rings do I need to buy today that I can do the big V shaped necklace, please? Please and thank you. That one takes about. Four to five hundred rings for that one. Um, you can again, you can make that smaller or larger as you like. I've done quite a thin base around the back of the um, around the back of the necklace. So I've just done a, um, a two row European four in one around the back. But you can embellish it more. You can add gemstones in. But I always say, when if you're into chain mail, you're getting into chain mail. Whenever you see the chain mail, the jump ring deals to get them because you've always got the jump rings there then. Like you said before, you start a project, you get halfway through it, and memory, your memory of where that ring goes is perfect. When you've done about four or five rows, it helps you then. If you stop and then do it back the next day, sometimes you can get lost, and you know, I can't remember where to start, I can't remember how to carry on this weave because you have to wait for your new set of uh, jump rings, to, jump come rings to come in. Jump rings to come in, yeah. So I, was, I always have <laughs> about a thousand in each size as like a backup. Yeah. And then you know that you've got jump rings there. But for most projects on this DVD, about 200. But the, the V-shaped necklace just takes a little bit more because it's, and they're the six mil jump rings that are in that necklace. But you can make it into the uh, seven mil jump rings as well. Mm. Um, it's got mine. Thanks, Fleur. Aww. Love, Sharon. Thanks, um, Sharon. I love, you know, you're talking about embellishing with gemstones. For me personally, I love all the designs. I think the silver one's my favourite. Yeah. 
Um, you can embellish, can't you? Yeah, yeah, you can do. You could do just a small section of chain mail and then embellish it with jump rings and wire work. I know there's, um, I know I've seen people that have done cabochon settings where they've done a wire work cabochon setting and they've just, it, as they've done their cabochon setting, they've added little loops onto the side mm. so then they can chain mail either around that cabochon or up to the cabochon as well. Mm. So you can take it into a whole, you know, it can, add into all your jewellery mediums that you're working with already. Absolutely. And and these ones, which I, I, I think are gorgeous, yeah, these, these ones are on the DVD. No, these ones are these in the kit. These ones are in the kit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. With these ones, yeah. you've got weaves in here that yeah. I know from that kit yeah. you've got in the DVD yeah, so as that, well. Those weaves there are the same as the necklace that's next to you. So that's a European four in one. So you can see with different jump rings and these totally are the different look. completely different look. It's um it's, that's what's so brilliant about Chainmail and what we said about those beautiful twisted um, black rope style rope ones. Style, yeah. You know, add them in because they're going to create a different look to your to your chainmail. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. It is. It's, I just that's love the fact different. that it can it can look so different. Oh, Hazel! Yay! Got my DVD flirt. Got a feeling it's going to be an exceptional oh, one. I hope you like it. <laughs> oh, I'll show you. What. Hey, up, Jan. How are you, love? Hi, girls. Got one for me and one for my sister. Beautiful design oh, flirt. Oh, hi, Jan. I hope you like it. I'm so, I'm so nervous. You absolutely <laughs> will. Oh, Leanne. Hello, lovely Leanne. Um, how was your anniversary the other day, love? Um, Fleur is a great teacher. Went on her first workshop yes, and had great did. fun. DVD is a yeah. must. Hi, Leanne. Yeah, Leanne's a lovely, lovely lady. She makes some beautiful jewellery as well. Yeah, she, and she created some gorgeous pieces. And yeah, the workshops are great as well because, you know, you can come along and, and learn. But if you can't get to a workshop, these are perfect, you know, to, to learn at home. We've had another message in. It says, um, if I make the V-shaped necklace, how much would you sell this necklace for? Don't um, have, oh, don't, don't know how much to charge for the chain mail okay. because I'm new. Okay, with chain mail, like we said, the jump rings themselves are relatively inexpensive to actually create that piece. Yeah. So say that piece, so if I did it in the, my challenge, yes. which was 400, I could create that necklace with, for 10 pounds. But yeah. the time that it took is what it, takes to it, what you add so for that necklace I would sell that necklace on my store for about between 60 and 70 pounds um, and that's with just a few small peridot depending on the gemstones that go onto it depending if I made that necklace bigger or, or smaller it's the hours that go into chain mail Absolutely. and I think that that's with chain mail it's it'll be around for a long long time because it's it's not indestructible you can destroy chain mail but it's very strong it will stand the test of time um, but yeah, between about 60 and 70 pounds. But if that was in a boutique, if that was in a shop with their markup as well, I can expect it to be about over 100, 100 yeah. to 120. So it really depends quite a lot on where, where you're you sell. It. Yeah, yeah, where you sell. Because I, I know if that was in um, like a few of my the outlets that I sell into, then I have to probably put it up to about 100 pounds to cover their commissions. Well, because when you sell into shops, they take a little take bit, a as, bit well. as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for answering that, Fleur. Now, just to let you know, you've all been messaging in um, for our first competition out of the ten other chances we have coming up for you later on. Now we had a message in. Where's the strange place you've ever found a jump? Ring. and we have chosen a winner Sandra from Oxfordshire congratulations you get to win this beautiful pair of jewelry we were looking at earlier on well done Sandra what did Sandra say Sandra said she found a jump ring in her dog's paw in her dog's bed on her dog's lip and basically he was just covered in jump rings <laughs> so uh oh bless i bet you could hear your dog come in yeah couldn't that's you? very jingled <laughs> jingling along <laughs> so congratulations sandra well done you get to win that beautiful pairing there but don't forget you can learn to make that as well in the dvd don't forget still 10 chances to win prizes today and i'm not just talking jewelry i'm talking things like free places on workshops i'm talking about uh, signed DVDs as well so much and don't forget girls best friend as well so much more coming up for you now you've got these now you need more jump rings don't you really I've got jump rings sporadically popping in and out through the show today and I've got you a, a collection here that has a fair few jump rings in it as well as things like your clasps which are paired perfectly with it take a little look where have my tweezers run off to 
tweezers. Tweezies. Oh, thank you. I don't know where I've put mine. Um, I have got for you here a selection of jump rings and clasps that you have got a, uh, it is perfect for things like your uh, chain mail. This is fantastic. Now let me show you. Let me show you some pieces. I've got, pop these open. I have got, look, massive, huge jump rings. You've got, in each of these different colors, so you've got the silver, you've got the gold, and of course you've got the rose gold as well. You've got 10 mil jump rings in here. Now that is something we do not see very often at all, but you are going to be getting approximately 150 of the 10 mil jump rings in total, so in the different colors, so 50 of each. A massive amount in there. You've got 10 mil, I've then got your eight mil as well. Of the eight mil, you're actually getting 75 in each pot, so a big amount there as well. I've got your six mil too, so going down slightly again in size, you're getting 300 of those in total. And last but by no means least, you're getting the five mil as well, which again, another really workable size, we don't see that often. And one that you will need for the DVD, you're getting 300 of those as well of the different colors. But not only that, because let's face it, when we make something like our chain mail, a lot of the time we're gonna want the perfect clasp to match it, because otherwise it can look a bit higgledy-piggledy. You've got exactly what you need here. You've got the perfect colorway, perfect color match. Even if I show you them alongside the jump rings, that is perfect, and it's the same for every color. You're getting a selection of your S-shaped clasps, which are great for chain mail, because obviously you've got your jump rings right there. You've also got your toggle clasps here as well which again come with a free jump ring attaching them so you can separate that and use it for other designs and you get the larger toggle clasps as well which got this gorgeous kind of twist design it's almost like you've got the two ends of the wire and you've turned them in opposite directions and what that does for you look is it gives you that beautiful undulation of light isn't that captivating? That look beautiful along, a, uh, for example, a bracelet piece, because if you think about it, when you're wearing chainmail, it does very much catch the light in a similar manner, doesn't it? So you've got the gold color. Let me show you the other colors as well, so you get an idea of exactly the color range we're getting. I'll show you in those beautiful twist detail ones. So again, gold, rose gold, which we don't see often, and your silver as well. So all three of those colors coming for you today. And like I said, beautiful color matching, perfect color matching to my eye. The price you're seeing now I'm being told is not the price that you're gonna get. 44 pounds and 95 pence is not your price point. It is gonna be dropped down for you. Your price point today is actually rolling down to just 29 pounds and 95 pence it should have been 45 pounds worth essentially you're getting it for 29.95 and flirt you've already worked with this collection haven't you i did i did a designer inspiration um on this called history of chain mail where all i had was just this box and i created i think it was 12 pieces and i still had jump rings and a lot of clasps left over because mm. obviously i only used 12 clasps and i did bracelets and necklaces so i did full pieces as well so not just sort of like earrings i did full-on chain mail for mm. the whole the whole collection it is a fabulous collection and when i said i've got about a thousand chain mail rings at home in reserve i've got four of these boxes four of these boxes. yeah because i use these boxes all the time for my chain mail that i sell because yeah. they are absolutely to have all those sizes and to have all those three colors you've got your mixed metals straight away which is super high end you know you go down the red, uh, the Russian wedding band sort of look. Yeah, yeah. You can do, say, the European forum one. You could do a different row in a different colour. You could graduate the sizes. It's fabulous to have them. And the Tau flower, the one that we did a couple of weeks ago. I remember. You can use the big 10 mil jump rings for that as well. So you only need 19 of those. So you could do quite a few Tau flowers with with those large jump rings. But great and. The best thing about chainmail is to experiment with it. Experiment with the chainmail size, with the jump ring sizes. See if you can do the barrel weave in a larger one and the, or a smaller ring the size than I've said. You know, and see the different effects that it gives. And with this kit, with this matrix box, you can definitely do that. In particularly with fifteen pounds off it, it exactly. makes it even more desirable, yeah, doesn't it? Does. it? The thing I think is great about it as well is actually if you've just got the DVD, you know, on the DVD you will be using the different coloured jump rings, yep. the larger jump rings, yep. because it is an easier way to teach yourself it a lot is, of the yeah, time. It, isn't it is, yeah. So you've got the ten mil jump rings that are on the ends there in three different colours, so you can teach yourself 
the box weave going into the Byzantine weave and because these chainmail joint rings are so forgiving you can open and close them quite a few times before they start to mark or warp or something like that so you can take them apart put them back together and have a set of practice rings so you could take say take 20 of each colour of the larger rings and have them as your practice rings to practice new weaves with. Perfect. Great idea. I and mean, then you've still got some left. You've still got some left yeah. then, haven't you? And um, we've had a message in, and yeah, got it again. <laughs> uh, love this box. And that is Julie in Livingston. Hello, Julie. Uh, yeah, you have. You've got it again, and you've got it at an amazing, amazing discount here for you. It is sometimes just so helpful when you're starting out to be able to see, right, now I've got to pick up the gold ones. Yeah. Now I've got to pick up the silver yeah, ones. Yeah, that's it. And if you... When I, when I tend to try and keep the colours the same when I'm making a weave as well, when I'm doing my demos. So I'll, like that demo that I've just done, I've used the black and the gold. So you could say, right, instead of the black, I'm going to use the copper colour and then I'm going to use the, the silver. So you can still see that two differential colours within, the, within your chainmail weave when you're practising. Mm. Uh, we've had another message in. I got this matrix box last time and it's amazing. You can do so many different weaves. Thank you for that, you Julie. Yeah, you can. There's so many weaves as well that we haven't actually shown on screen. So like the Viper basket, a, a true Viper basket, your helm weave, which um, takes two different sizes. Yeah, you can do your GSG, which is what I'm working on at the minute, a different kind of weave. challenge? Yeah, that's mm. what I'm doing for my challenge. There's, there's over a thousand chainmail weaves anyway. Um, and you could do quite a lot of those weaves with these chain mail jobs, with this, with this matrix box. But even if you just wanted to do box weave and Byzantine weave, you could do that with this box and create lots of bracelets and sell each one of those bracelets for 29.95, just for one bracelet. Just for one. Yep. I mean, I would never go underneath 20, say 20 pounds, even if you're a beginner for chain mail, because people, um, can see the craftsmanship that's gone into it see that you've opened and closed every single jump ring you know in, in effect you've opened every one and closed every one twice because yeah, you've close. opened it and then closed and then it back, yeah. to go back you know so so yeah there's uh, a lot of craftsmanship that goes into it and people that you know, like expect to pay a little bit more for that completely because yeah. the workmanship yeah and, and quite rightly so, yeah quite yeah. rightly so uh this one says the matrix component boxes are always great and as a bonus they make a very satisfying <laughs> sound when you shake them yeah well i don't know about that you watch i won't have closed one of these properly mm -hmm. well i hope they're all shut that's it you can have the chainmail band pardon chainmail band brilliant <laughs> i will be the shaker yeah. i'm a bit like bez yeah who do you want to be <laughs> I'll be Sean Ryder. Then. You'll be Sean Ryder. <laughs> oh, you had a dream about Sean did Ryder, you didn't you, last Sean night, Ryder, Blair? Yes, because I watched t um, TFI, TFI Friday. Friday, yeah, and I dream about Sean Ryder. <laughs> Not just any old dream. No. She had a dream that our channel manager, Paula Bennett, was married <laughs> to Sean Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sat in the corner of the studio watching today's show. <laughs> oh, I love it. Weird dream. Oh, weird. Last time you watched TFI with cheese. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I've got another message in. Purchase this before and it's fab. Recycle the box and organise weekly medicine. Um, I have to take bang tidy. <laughs> Lol. Love that. Clever yeah, idea. Because these good, boxes yeah. are great for things like that. They are really good. And you can take the whole... Um, layer of lids off in a layer so if you want to just work with all the gold section you can take that off to make it easier to get in and out of the pots as well genius um, and what i did with mine with a, a marker pen is i wrote the the sizes on the top of the boxes so mm -hmm. that i could just quickly see although you can see you know when you've got them there but just mm -hmm. just so i it saved time i just wrote on just the numbers of what sizes they were yeah it's fab that isn't it it really is sensational is that 36 left it is 30 it's not it's 35 left squinting sorry 35 left um i've got another one here that says i have always loved chain mail but very nervous about starting love fleur so got the dvd oh. and i'm taking the plunge got dvd pliers and the matrix box and that is from a caramat i hope i've said that correctly oh well i'm always on facebook as well if ever you get stuck and you you don't understand something or you don't know what size to use what size you just send me a message on my guest designer page and I'll 
I'll answer it and help as much as I can. But don't be nervous of it. It's it is easy. It is easy. And for people who don't know your Facebook, tell us what it is. It's JM Guest Designer Fleur Hastings. So take a little look out for that. Um, I said to my husband that I will try chainmail, and he said you already have a trained <laughs> male. Brilliant <laughs> from Sandra. <laughs> That's it. But gentlemen do love chainmail because they can see the mechanics of it. Yeah, and yeah. obviously it has its historical um, part in history. It has been armour, you know, mm. and a lot of the, the families of weaves have all had their place in, in armour and mm. used in battle. So men do like that. And in America and in Australia, chainmail is huge with, with men. Not yeah. so much with, with women. It's getting there. But, um, you yeah, know, so it's great to get your partners, husbands, brothers, sons, everybody else, male friends involved Perfect. in it because it is a mechanical part of jewellery making as well. It's it's great to see um, you know, how it's all made and how it's constructed. Absolutely. And Sandra, congratulations on your trained mail. Yeah. <laughs> Big props. Uh, I've got Jacqueline in now, Fleur. I want to combine a very thin Kumihimo rope sorry, into a chain mail weave. Could you suggest some suitable weaves, please? Many thanks. And that's from Jacqueline. Hey, Jacqueline. Yeah, yes, yes, Jacqueline. If you do the um, inverted round mail, which is the second one along next yeah, to yeah. Becky, uh, where we've got the gemstones yeah, inside, yeah. do your Kumihimo um, rope, your braid, um, and then start a little bit of the chain mail. And on the DVD, I do say how you can start to chain mail around um, with that weave around Kumihimo braids, around memory wire, around uh, gem, you know gemstone chains as well. So yeah, that one, all the round mail, so your Turkish round mail, your round mail and your inverted round mail, make hollow cords, make hollow um, tubes for you to um, pop that um, round. What I would say, the easiest way to do it is to chain mail around the Kumihimo cord rather than trying to pop the Kumihimo cord through at the end. Um, you can do it quite easily with a piece of wire and pull it through, but you don't want to distort any of your chain mail, so do your chain mail around your cord. I hope that helped you. Thank you for that message. 13, 12 left, 17 in, oh, 15, 16, 17-ish in baskets. Uh, so do check out because people are going to miss out now. 15 pounds off that matrix box. Congratulations, everybody. I have got for you now something that is going to give you that high-end, luxurious appeal to your pieces. Take a little look. This is genuine, beautiful 925 enveloped in gold. Now, when we're dealing with gold jump rings, we are dealing with one of the most luxurious metals in the world right now. The fact of the matter is gold mining at this moment in time is in a bit of a dire strait, to be honest. Um, the way gold mining works is quite interesting, actually. The way gold mining works is, um, a, a group or a company or a group of people will put in to purchase a mine. Um, purchasing that mine will essentially instantly put them into debt because as you can imagine, huge amount of money has to go into actually opening a mine. They have to buy massive amounts of machinery, massive amounts of chemicals to soften and to you know put into things like centrifuges, etc., etc. Um, and that system of opening up, instantly going into debt, essentially to open up this mile, mine, and then to actually get any gr um, gold out of the ground takes approximately four years so you're instantly in debt but then actually before you get any gold out of the ground to sell takes about four years now because of that because of the market economic market at the moment um, you know um, obviously a lot of mines currently because of the you know economic market throughout the world are closing down before they even get to open in that four years and because of that and because it's happening more and more and more often gold seriously is fluctuating dramatically in price at this moment in time Time. So the fact that I'm going to bring you 50 of these jump rings that have been enveloped in that always precious but right here, right now, well, you know, really, really fluctuating precious, precious gold, that goes to show you and goes to tell you that realistically that I'm going to bring these to you for under £15 is a complete and absolute bargain. Also taking into account and taking into mind that with all of these mines that currently are closing before even opening, um, not only that, but of the rough, um, from rough to actually getting gold out of the ground, we are at the moment in some mining areas are going through over one tonne's worth of rough to get out 1.1 grams worth 
of precious gold and that as you can imagine takes a lot of time money and effort so again a serious luxury that at the moment the prices are just changing constantly and going up and up and up you're gonna get it i know i said under 15 pounds i actually meant under 10 9.95 for you today for 50 of these what do you think of that flair if you're into your chain mail or if you've never tried chain mail to to make it into 925 gold 95 with gold plating is just a, it's just an honor to work with such beautiful um, materials and you can't find gold plated sterling silver jump rings you can find gold filled jump rings um, which are completely different but for that price for 50 you could create quite a quite a, sm a large section of european four in one for that and then use your cords either side if you wanted to to create sort of like a watch style bracelet if you were going to multi buy this and buy sort of like three or four you could create an amazing piece of chain mail like the inverted round mail that's there yeah yeah you could like the lady wanted to do the kumihimo how beautiful to have kumihimo which is a historic piece of um of art form as well um and use that with chain mail with 925 on with with gold plated just beautiful special isn't it really special it's and special. For th at that price that's amazing that's yeah. an, it is a truly amazing price mm. i love working with with the, these kind of jump rings because it then you can then add on so much more if you do sell your pieces you can add on if you give it away as a gift or a special birthday present a 21st or you know a 40th or 50th whatever um what a wonderful and with the uh, girl's best friend that's coming up yeah you know you can you create, i mean for that what i would do is use one of those and say uh, three is a mobius ring so just the, just the very simple adding three jump rings together mobius ring for diamond and gold plated sterling silver earrings i would be looking at at least 60 to 70 pounds for those earrings oh yeah just for just Simple. for two of those and and six jump rings simple easily just to let you know someone did message in it's the seven mil od or id it is your od just to let you know um we've got a picture of those diamonds if you want to see them Twelve o'clock. These are coming up. Ooh, exciting! They are the most they beautiful yeah. grey diamonds. They are, and um, with that kind of strand, I would definitely be taking some of that for jewellery for me. And then I'd make the other set, the other ones that were left, with these beautiful jump rings, pay for my jewellery. You know, because you can, as a jewellery maker, that's what that's what Absolutely. it's all about: having beautiful stuff for yourselves, and then giving beautiful gifts or selling uh, selling on to people to fund your habit of oh, I. gemstones. Oh, I. Oh, I. <laughs> Just to let you know, those diamonds are coming up for you at midday, but I haven't got many chances. We've got less than 100 chances on that diamond, and I think you're going to be blown away by the price because I know I most certainly, most certainly was. Also, to let you know, don't forget, the competition is coming up for you in about half an hour and what we're going to do is we're going to give you the chance to own and purchase a mega strand mystery bundle of 10 gemstones at an amazing price point and everybody who purchases that selection of 10 will be entered into a prize draw you'll be picked at random we'll announce the winner on the 16th and you get 10 different chances of winning 10 different prizes will be given out including things like spaces on Fleur's workshop including things like signed DVDs as well for you um, so they are coming up for you in about half an hour in that competition so you've got to stay tuned to be part of that it's only about 30 ish minutes to wait and 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 you know you're entering and getting loads to gemstones anyway at a great price so it's perfect for you don't forget i've got that gorgeous jadeite coming out for you later which will go perfectly with this can you get more egyptian than that not really that wouldn't that be beautiful oh, imagine the gorgeous. butterfly weave either side perfect for so that. a butterfly in the middle and then jadeite either jade side, either side. Gorgeous just piece. perfect some of the biggest pieces of jade I, I have ever ever seen well done to you all uh, just to let you know fair few in baskets but i've actually only got 34 left so do check those out whilst you have the opportunity to got for you now um rose gold is it yeah it's on this side 
Sterling silver, rose gold in this one over here. Seven mil rounds again for you. So it's the same ones we've just had, but it's in your rose a gold color. It is hard to find rose gold jump rings anywhere else, isn't it? It is. Only 65 yeah. opportunities have just been told. It is so tricky to find rose gold of actually any clasp, yeah. but to find a big pack of jump rings in rose gold. Yeah, you struggle, you struggle. And this is classed as a, as a larger size as well. So if you did find them, you'd only be buying them in maybe tens or twenties. You wouldn't be buying them in fifties without a huge price tag next to it. Mm. Limited price, sorry, limited amount. So we're gonna li li take the price lower. 895 for you today on these ones. We've just knocked that price off. We've just taken that price down a bit for you, but that's only because I've got 65-ish uh, chances and that's it. Once they have gone, they have absolutely gone. You're getting 50 of these, five zero in total, and they are your seven mil round. Great for so many of your weaves. It's the size that you're gonna be needing and using with that DVD that you've all just purchased. Um, you're gonna be using it for things like the Mobius ring as well for these ones. Um, You've got to check out because I tell you what, vast majority of people are buying three. Oh, twos, there's a few people buying twos, lots of people buying threes as well. Names have gone off my screen and I've got 30, ooh, 26 left, 26 ish left, um, and loads of you coming in and getting these. Now, this is about to go, this is about to go off your screens, but don't worry, I've got something to put a big smile on your face. It is the most precious and most beautiful of all of the jades. This is our spotlight. <laughs> One hundred opportunities. This is not a drill for any of us. One hundred opportunities to get our hands on jade out right now. That's all you've got. One hundred chances. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's one of the rarest of gemstones in the world. What is jadeite? Because people think jadeite, they think, oh, is that a oh a lesser type, a lesser version of jade? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not at all. Jadeite is one of the most sought after of all gemstones in the world. And jadeite is actually a type of jade. So what is jade? Okay, jade is an umbrella term, okay? Um, you can buy strands of jade, but more often than not, they're actually a nephrite that are given the name jade because it makes them sound a little bit better and a little bit more glamorous and a bit nicer. Not always the case, but quite often that is the case. Jade is an umbrella term. There are two types of jade. There is nephrite and there is jadeite. Jadeite is the most expensive, the rarest, the most sought after. Jadeite is the one, do you remember I've shown you loads and loads and loads of times that slide about jadeite and about how those two bangles of jadeite um, went to auction and sold for just over six and a half million? Do you remember me showing you that? Just sold for just over six and a half million for a tiny, tiny bangle of this gemstone because it's one of the rarest gemstones in the world. In fact, it's in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world alongside, no diamonds in that selection, by the way, the top 10 rarest gemstones. I and mean, you haven't got any of the diamonds in there, but you've got tanzanite in there, you've got black opal in there, um, you've got alexandrite in there, and you've got this gemstone. It's one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Nephrite isn't, jade isn't, jadeite is. So nephrite and jadeite, what is the difference? Okay. So jade, I, jade sorry, is your umbrella term. You've got nephrite, which is confusingly as you like, sometimes referred to as hard jade. You've got jadeite, which is sometimes referred to as soft jade. Now that is confusing anyway, because actually nephrite, i.e. hard jade, is softer on the most scale than soft jade, which is right here in front of you, which is your actual beautiful jadeite. So with your nephrite, what you're getting is, I'm right in saying it's a six, on a Mohs scale, your, uh, your nephrite. That is known as your hard. Now, if I'm talking about the Mohs scale, I suppose better for people in, just in case you don't know, the Mohs scale is talking about the hardness of a gemstone. The way in which a Mohs scale is worked out is quite unusual. What, what there was a, um, oh, I've got something in my eye. Um, it started off with a diamond, and you got a diamond, which we know is a 10 on the Mohs scale, and then, you know, you go down and you've got, say, a sapphire um, that is um, a nine on the Mohs scale. And um, essentially, the way we work out a Mohs scale is we know that 10 is the highest, we know that, um, you know, sapphire is the baseline for nine. So essentially, if we found a new gemstone and, and diamond cut it, but sapphire didn't, it would be a 9.5 on the Mohs scale, if that makes sense. So, nephrite itself is 
is a six on the Mohs scale. So it, it, it's relatively soft. Jadeite is a seven. Now what that means is you have got around about two spaces more strength within this. So that means I could wear this as a ring every single day and I don't have to worry about it scratching or nicking because it's a nine on the Mohs, it's an eight, sorry, on the, a seven on, on the Mohs scale. It is sturdy, it is strong. So I can wear this every single day, whereas with nephrite, I might not want to. Another thing with jadeite that is making it one of the most sought after gemstones in the world is its colour. Nephrite doesn't come in this colour really. Nephrite is, is much more, actually nephrite you can sometimes get and it's black. It is solid, solid black. Jadeite is that go-to. If you think, if someone says to you, the colour of jade, this will be the kind of colour you're thinking of, won't it? Jadeite gives you that. Jadeite is therefore more recognisable to many than, for example, your nephrite is, which makes it so, so sought after. And it also means that people recognise it more. Another thing that's actually quite interesting, I think, um, about the fact that you have got jadeite here and not your nephrite is, um, on a um, on your specific gravity levels, which which a lot of us will know is all about density of a gemstone. Your diamond is is you know we think of diamond as quite a nice, dense, heavy, luxurious feeling gemstone. That's a three point five on that scale. Um, and and because of that, you know it does diamond that I've got coming up for you later does have that luxurious, heavy, heavy feel. Nephrite is actually only a two point nine. This one is way closer to diamond. You're looking at about a 3.3. Now, the great thing about that is luxury. It, there's something to do with, with the way our minds work that means if we touch something, if we feel something, if we see something and there is a weight to it, we will naturally think that it's a higher price, that it's going to be more exp uh, expensive, that it's going to be more durable, and therefore that's going to be more luxurious in the price point range. And that's why with things like our polymer clay, we're always weighing it down, aren't we? You know, I'm forever baking, um, you know, um, jump rings and blanks and spaces into my polymer to give it that luxurious feel so when you pick it up it has that weight to it and that's what this gemstone does for you so essentially what have I got here in simple terms I have got one of the best one of the most luxurious feeling due to its weight one of the most sought after colours because it's a recognised colour of jade and one of the most wearable because of the strength of all jades. It is however usually the most expensive. I'm absolutely blown away that you are getting 300 carats worth of this. Bearing in mind that those bracelets I've showed you time and time again that you know went for six and a half million pounds weren't up in carat weight to anywhere near that in total. Your carat weight of one of the most luxurious and beautiful of all jades today is just 37 pounds and 95 pence for one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world that gives you that archetypal color that let's face it you know beautiful beautiful sandra has made this gorgeous piece where she's paired it with silver it goes great with silver i showed you it with the gold earlier on and look how great it went with those gold it just went absolutely perfectly it's going to go great with the rose gold as well because of that gentle and delicate palette you love jadeite as much as I love jadeite, yeah, don't you, Flo? I do. I think because it's got that place in history where some of the greatest people that's ever lived has adored this gemstone. And the colour, the, so, so tranquil. Mm. It's so beautiful. And like you say, it goes with every single metal tone. So you could put your rose gold, your gold and your silver with it and mix all three together. And you would only need a couple because I personally I would use just like two on the end of a chainmail bracelet yeah, yeah, yeah. so that as it spun round you had that beautiful gemstone and these are sizable I've never seen any of this size no I don't know if you've ever had any of this size I've never seen any of this size hi I wear a why a what sorry one inch jadeite a bangle for 13 years now and um, the Chinese believe jade protects from evil spirits absolutely true thank you very much for texting that in yeah. absolutely true they do they believe that it not only protects from evil spirits but they also believe that it can help center you and help mm. you have the strength to come up against those evil spirits I've just seen the price I, I thought it would be about 100 pounds <laughs> 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 I thought it was yeah I did honestly I've only just seen that um, yeah, maybe I would guide two strands and do a whole bracelet of it. Then. Yeah, why <laughs> As not? I was thinking, yeah, eight, gosh, for that price. 
Wow, I honestly thought that was going to be a lot, lot more than that. I would definitely be multi-buying. People are multi-buying. I can see why. Oh, yeah. You know, it's oh, yeah. it's such a precious gemstone, and we don't see it very often at, at all. all. And when you, if you're giving this as a gift or you're you're selling it on, I definitely write a little card about what Becky's just said about nephrite and jadeite and the difference, and that this is true jadeite because mm -hmm. it gives it that that beautiful um, sort of like star of the show rather Absolutely. than just being part of the jade family it is the star of the jade family it for me. is absolutely yeah. it's like it's like saying the zoocyte family tanzanite like, is the star yeah, of that yeah and this is that yeah. that headliner yeah it essentially is, it for is. Jade. beautiful tones of the greens as well so mm. you think you know we were saying about chrome diopside before how beautiful with chrome diopside some of those small rondelles that we've been doing I know the smaller ones in between that you know <gasps> just to break it up so you've got the greens what about that gemstone I told you we've got on tomorrow. Yes. With these. Yes, definitely. That is tomorrow, isn't it? No, the Vesuvius side. Yeah. Isn't that on tomorrow? It, we have seen it before. Because you bought I a strand bought it, up, it, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. It was a Flo's Saturday. Bought a strand yeah, it. it was a Saturday. I think it was Phil who was uh, direct, uh, producing, and he only had a few. Me and Alison got one. Vesuvius side. It's stunning, yeah. It's gorgeous. That's like a dark fern green, but it's got like an optical property that you'll see it tomorrow and it's just amazing it blew me away but yeah that with this would be amazing or oh, black spinel if you wanted mm. to add some or even pearls anything will go with it because it's the nature's color as well because it's the greens everything will go with it smoky quartz would go with it mm. peridot would go with it yeah yeah there's not any gemstone i bet that we do today that won't go with this or it could be just its own shining star by itself mm, absolutely do 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 treat yourself to this whilst you can not many opportunities left 37.95 well done hardly any of those left i've got some sterling silver for you now to everyone who did get that seriously pat on the back because um you've just got your hands on one of the rarest gemstones in the world it's amazing that to think isn't it so amazing love that take a little look at exactly what i'm getting here now these are beautiful little charm style carriers. I love these. These are your 95 round spacer rings. Now these are perfect. If I show you the back of them, they're completely flattened at the back, as you can see, it's catching that light. But then at the front it is domed. And then you see it has that little nook in at the bottom. Now that nook in is fantastic because it means you can use these to have your charms hanging from them because the, the jump rings, maybe you had a jump ring to attach a charm to, it would almost rest in that section. But another great thing about these is if you put them up together, dome side on dome side, it almost acts as like a little hidden connector for your top drill drop, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it creates a little valley for them. Yeah, a little yeah, valley for yeah, the top of it yeah. to go in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, these are just beautiful to have in your selection and I presume we could use these with the chain mail. Definitely, yeah. Mm. So if you wanted to add a chain mail, uh, a charm onto a chain mail bracelet, I would definitely add one of these in and then, ha like you say, had that charm to the centre. Mm. Or, or, you know, a few dotted around. But I look, I've got these and I've used mine in earrings. Oh, yeah. Because I find oh. that the earring, you know, the, the loop of your earring sits into that valley. Oh, I know exactly. So it doesn't spin around so that it weights it properly for me so that the majority of the silver is on the bottom and it looks beautiful then with that and I've got some uh, beautiful top drilled uh, fluorites that are that I've used on mine love that that's a great idea Deborah's messaged in yeah, these yeah. are great for your bolt yeah. rings oh uh, bolt rings partners too yeah because it, it clips into that so you've got a nice chunky end of your bracelet mm -hmm. but then you've got that small section where it will actually just go over bridging yeah beautiful just to let you know your price point today is not we're going to give you a few extra pennies why not you've got to treat yourself today it's a saturday seven pounds and 95 pence for you today to get your hands on these they are 7.5 mil you're getting 10 of them in total serious amount of precious metal in here because i tell you what they're chunky monkeys aren't they they are really really chunky there's no cutout in these whatsoever either you know it is it is a complete complete circle and um, 7.5 we can of course use yeah yeah we? you can use that 
that with your chain mail as well. So you could use this as the base of a Mobius ring. Mm -hmm. So you've got a beautiful chunky middle to your Mobius yeah, ring. Then yeah. say put the um, the seven mil um, rose gold and gold ones that we did earlier around, around it. it. So one of each Love around that. it. You could use this for the centre of your butterfly weave. You could this yeah you can use this for a lot the center of your Japanese flowers so you've got a real high shine center mm. but it's it's big enough to get all your other jump rings around it as well really useful very very useful mm. and like you know even if you just use them as spacers but then had you know that little valley because like I said you've got the flat back so it will sit next to a beautiful rondelle really nicely so the ends of your bracelets on the bangle for the end of the bangle yeah, yeah. if you did your own bangle no, Alison and Laura do the beautiful ones where they swirl the ends out you could put these just before that swirl and it was sick it would butt up to that metal beautifully Fantastic. Um, we've had a few people messaging in saying, could you yeah, tell us how to use these? Yeah. Is that all right? Not at all. Fantastical. Right. We have got the kit coming up for you in a mm -hmm. second, but a few people have messaged in saying, let's have a look at how we would use these then. So if I just do a quick Mobius ring. Yeah, Fab. So I would use this as my centre. Centre. And then I would just open two of my jump rings. Mm -hmm. And then this is perfect for doing a Mobius ring, actually, because you would end, you'd go down through this ring the dip where, the, where the dip is. Mm. So literally pop it through the middle. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just grab my pliers and close. Now, I've, if you have got any of the beautiful sterling silver jump rings, I would use those alongside, alongside the these. And, and this. again, so using where the little dip is, go through both of those together. Again, so you're literally just like an infinity circle. Yeah. And close, and as you sit that down then, so as you can see there, Beautiful. and you could, what I'd probably do is put another two or three in there, so that I start to fill up the gap as well, so that every so often, this beautiful thickness of that sterling sort of shows through, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll just pop another one through, and these are really large, and like I say, I've used mine for earrings, that's where I've utilized yours, mine. Yeah. Because I think all that sterling silver needs to be on show, face on, for, you know, in the earrings. Mm. So there you go. So you just Perfect. carry on going round. Fantastic. Just squish yeah. it up a bit. Yeah, for no us. problem. Sorry. Lush. There you Fab. go. Wonderful, thank you very much for showing no us that problem. flow. Fantastic, oh. and we pop these over here. Now, we are moving on to your kit. Tell us a bit how oh. this one was to work with. Loved this kit, because we've got some jump rings that are in there that I've only ever used once before. The, they're like a stardust finished to them they're closed so we can use them where it says add a closed jump ring mm -hmm. we get so many jump rings in this kit and the lapis is just to die for sensational isn't it and the cabochon and usually i'm scared of cabochons but when i saw this one i thought no i've got to do this one justice i've got to try and set it so that it's it shows off all its beauty and it's a it's a huge it's piece huge, of lapis isn't it? It is really massive. beautiful piece of lapis it's nice for us in a kit actually to get a standardized size as well isn't yes. it yes yeah because we don't always get that do we you've got 50 carats worth here of this lapis and it will definitely be in this size and in the shape faceted um pair that you've got here um so we have got the 40 by 30 mil on this got that gorgeous gorgeous luster to it and that mm. beautiful shine effect that's really shown off by those facets is fab isn't it just looks like the night sky mm. it just looks like it could have been painted in that sistine chapel as a night sky yeah, it with does, all the it? stunning gold flecks coming through it's just beautiful it's like a monet starry it night, is, isn't it, it it's is. beautiful so i've got one of those and it goes perfectly with the strand itself how was the strand to work with really nice great drill holes really really versatile i love this size to work with because sometimes with a chain mail it can be you know your weaves can be quite small like narrow weaves so you don't want a big chunky gemstone no. you're a large gemstone these are perfect the, the, i love the six mils because they and if you wanted to do the inverted round mail that's in the um, DVD these are perfect to to go inside that round to mail. go inside yeah. it and how um, so you need obviously a specific size yeah don't you? yeah about six mil to go around the seven millimeter jump rings so so these would be great great for that but great as well for to add as charms onto your chain mail so these are perfect they're about yeah. five to six mil so they'll go perfectly within that inverted um, weave that you get on the DVD um, that we've had on earlier for you and um, so I've got about 110 carats ish worth on that strand 
I then have got loads of jump rings now. This is our last kit, isn't it, yes, with jump, jump rings? rings yeah. So if you want to get your hands on this, I might have some jump rings coming up for you later, but if you want it, you know, a, a massive discount and a huge variety, you've got it right here. Mm. So in this collection, you have got these beautiful brush jump rings that I showed you in that design earlier on. They give such a different look. They do, they really do, because the weave doesn't look the same as the other weave. Mm. So it doesn't look like a European foreign one because of that high luster to them. And they're a thicker wire that they're made onto yes. as well. So they give more of a structure to that piece, mm. give it a bit more, um, um, depth to it as well and with those different the light catches them so beautifully does I beautifully these, doesn't yeah, it I was really just looking you're getting a hundred of these ones in total so plenty to work with yeah lots well I've, I've used them in the bracelet and in the necklace and that's in effect four sections of chain mail that's quite jump ring heavy as yeah. well and those have done all of that for me fantastic so yeah. about four sections worth which is great i've also got the oval shaped jump yes. rings which yeah. we love we do not see that often yeah. at all we see them a lot on kumihimo shows yeah but not so much yeah. on chain mail which is a shame because they give you a totally different look don't you? you can see in the designs i've used them in the it's called it's the barrel weave but yeah, the only yeah, one yeah. it's called rhino snorting drano mm -hmm. um, and i've used the oval rings where it says add two closed jump rings i've used the oval rings for that and it gives a, a more elongated effect yeah. to, to that design but great for byzantine and box weave well, not box weave with this size but byzantine that we did in the first demo perfect for that your inverted round mail you can do with these as mm. well have a play with the with the oval ones because they do give that again a different look to your chain mail and I suppose, in a way, if you're doing a bracelet like that, you use slightly less. You use slightly less of your, your conventional round ones mm -hmm. as well, and they do work per perfectly together. You can use them all together as well, so you don't have to just stick to your oval ones and your round ones. You can mix them up. Yeah, 100 of the oval ones as well. And then I have got your round uh, jump rings as well, which we all know and recognise. These are your round yeah. saw cut open jump rings. You've got a 5mm and you've got a 6mm. And of those, um, you get 200 of each. So in total, you are getting approximately two, four, six hundred jump rings in total, approximately. But then it's not just stopping there. You know, you have seen in your designs, you've used these gorgeous mechanical spaces, mm. which have been extremely popular. How are they for you to work with? Oh, when I saw them and I saw the whole the size of the holes I thought oh nice, you could get so much through those you could get all your cords through mm -hmm. there you could even get your sari um, ribbons through there if you doubled it up and pulled it through mm -hmm. they're fabulous to work with they look really good in this kind of chain mail as well because they give it more of a futuristic look I find but again you've got those fabulous sides that give that high shine so you've got the luster of the mm -hmm. of the brushed metal rings and then you've got these high shine of these amazing spacer beads Gorgeous. work brilliantly with the lapis as well Gorgeous, them, aren't yeah. they? Um, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence yeah. is your price, and I've got wire as well in here. We had to get that price yeah. on because so many going. <laughs> zero point eight and zero point four in there. Just a beautiful, beautiful kit. Isn't it, it is. It's a fabulous kit. And if you don't ever want to do chainmail with these, I've just made a chain on the one with the lapis cabochon. Yeah. So I've just link them link together them. into a chain. So it's if you amazing. never want to do chainmail with them, you know this kit. But you love the kit get the kit because you can just make your own chains you don't yeah. have to do any of the weaves we're gonna get on to the uh, bracelet demo now yeah. aren't we fab so the the, the yeah. weaves that are in the kit are on the DVD as well so we, we thought we'd go a for a different a different style of demo so we're just gonna do this this um, little wire wrapped bracelet and it's a chaotic wire wrap so you don't mm. have to be very neat with your wire at all it's mm. great so the first thing you need to do is pop your um, lapis onto your 0.8 uh, mill wire. Mm -hmm. Now what we need to do at the end of our wire is make a wrap loop but you need enough room for these to move around as okay. well so don't put your wrap loop right up to the very last bead. Leave a little bit of space so that when you're wrapping they can move around and that wire will go in. So okay. when I do a wrap loop and we all do them differently I kink it out to start with and then over the top jaw round pop my pliers nice and straight and then I just wrap and I try and wrap the same amount of times as I've done on the very first wrap, just so that it, it stays quite uniform. And it's difficult to do it away from your eyes. I don't know how the ladies that do wire work on the show manage it. So that's mm. roughly how, what you would start with. So you've got a little bit of, of space on there. Okay, so I'll just pop this one down and I've prepared this one here. Now what we need now is our 0.4 wire. Now you can leave it onto your reel 
because you can it's easier to cope with mm -hmm. on the reel we just need to add this in now this little bit of movement of the beads helps to add this wire in as well so we're just going to anchor this wire onto the bottom there and then basically holding your bracelet and your wire you're just going to randomly wrap it all the way around keep going like I say you don't have to be neat doesn't have to be tight just keep going go around the top and then come back down and now you can do this as much or as little as you want and it creates quite a, a strong bangle I am um, I was really quite amazed at the shape that it that it left you just keep wrapping all the way around now if you liked the effect of just going around once and twice you don't you know you don't have to do any more I loved of that effect of going crazy and having the lapis just peeking out if you like all the way through and as you can see now if I hadn't have left that gap I wouldn't have still be able to bend this because no, it would have rigid. made it completely rigid mm. so by leaving the gap we can still bend this bracelet around and now if you're into your cuff style bracelet so you didn't want to clasp on this um, you could make this into a cuff style bracelet as well you could um, just like make these a little bit more ornate on the end so do some flourishes on the end if you like mm -hmm. or you could add a little charm on the end yeah, and it would right sit onto your onto your wrist quite nicely and so basically and it's that's as simple, simple as, as it is and it just creates and I've done that bracelet with this and I've still got a lot of my 0.4 wire so you could do quite a few of these bracelets if, mm -hmm. if you so wished with with that strand and it's Quite, I find them quite therapeutic. Yeah, absolutely. Because I with chainmail, chainmail's so neat and everything has to be so regimented. Yeah. I quite liked that I could go a bit crazy. Go a bit and, wild. Like, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it still created a nice at first I thought it was making a mess. I thought, oh no, it looks awful. But it just carried on and carried on and eventually it all came right again. And yeah. I was like, ah, yeah, and, and you'll know when you want to leave it, because yeah. you'll know when you've done enough. It'll tell you. And then to just to finish it off, I finished mine off on the opposite end, but I I'm not there. Just wrap it all the way around tie it in and then just squidge it down cut it off with your flush uh, your flush cutter pliers and squidge it into that gap underneath and there's no little bits of wire sticking out Done and it dusted. just creates a, a nice structure to your to your bangle fab thank you for showing thank us you. that just let you know that kit did sell out but on your screen right now is Fleur's new DVD it's our European weaves uh, we've got over 600 of these gone I've got about 50 ish in baskets so please do check out four pounds 95 pence where if you could go anywhere out of this world yeah where would you go uh the galaxy of wall of fame <laughs> <laughs> let's go there then <laughs> to village next then <laughs> she just went village. what am i gonna get that's bigger than the galaxy for the next one well you've already done universe right is that bigger <laughs> than a galaxy we'll do village next village yeah we'll let's, down let's go smaller we'll go down. <laughs> um i'm over here at the galaxy of fame uh, 338 is here and this one is from barbara hi barbara it says good morning all hurrah it's nearly saturday and fleur's dvd oh. um so love her designs um for my entry this week, I've tried to make chainmail hearts. They are a bit floppy at the bottom because I don't think I have done it right. Um, I don't want to undo it in case I can't join it in again. Uh, lots more jump rings, please. I don't want to run out. Uh, good luck for the draw. I really need more rings. And this is from Barbara. Well, Barbara, I hope you're watching today because we've had loads on, haven't we? I think we've got a few more to come yeah. up. What could it be? Loose. Right, okay, with the, heart, bottom. With the, um, with the heart shapes, they're fabulous. What I would do is go down a jump ring size to do the very bottom so that it pulls it in tighter. Um, you can go down a whole jump, jump ring, ring size. So with the full Persian, which these are, you would tend to do them in the seven mil outer diameter rings. Mm. Um, you can make your own jump rings just slightly smaller. You couldn't do them in the six millimeter jump rings because it wouldn't bend. You wouldn't get that nice arch. Okay. But yeah, go down to six millimeter just for the very, very bottoms of, the, of those hearts. And that may pull it in tight. If not, I would make a feature of it and I'd wire wrap a gemstone into the bottom to give it some stability. Give it a bit of stability. Yeah. Hope that helps you. 338, your number. Okay, this one's number 336. I think I've seen this one on Facebook and I adored it Lush. when I saw it. 
Um, and this one is from Anne. It says, hi all, here is my first attempt at crocheting with wire. I've used craft wire for the crochet. Please, JM, can we get this very fine wire? The thicker wire I got from JM. Um, the beads are from a broken bracelet I had, and I'm not sure what gems they are. The little pink heart uh, wire hearts are, the wire is from JM too. I love the natural gems to see in the bottom of some of my pieces. Um, love watching the show. It's like a big crafting club with fun and chat and bargains. Never stop. And that's love, Anne. It is. It's just like a big crafty, fun family. A big gossipy, yeah, crafty gra family. Gossip. That's it. Yeah. Did I say your number? Your number 336. Love Beautiful. that. I've never crocheted um, a, a piece like that before. No. I think it's gorgeous. I love the shape. You do crochet in the next um, demo I know. Well. I can't wait. Um, how many times do you think this person has entered the wall of fame? Oh, quite a few, because that's a beautiful, look at the beautiful wrap links. First time. You first time, no! Hi, JM, this is my first entry to the wall of fame. It's my first rosary link necklace made with cappuccino, agate and smoky quartz. And hessonite garnet. Oh, and ebony wood rounds, all from JM. Love the show, and that is from Michelle Hearn. I hope you said your last name right. Michelle? That That's is amazing. sensational. I love a good asymmetric design. The beauty, so neat. So neat. So, and so uniform, which is so, what I struggle with. I love, oh, bracelet as well. Oh, wow. Bangle at the top, have you seen that? Oh my Did goodness, gorgeous. That, right? um, well done to you. Really big good luck for your first ever one. You are 339. I love this little fella. Aww. I'm gonna call him a little fella because he's got a blue tummy. And it's number 337 and this says hi all i got the longest strand i've ever received from jm these blue coated quartz because they look like sea glass and i decided to try and make some sea themed designs the turtle i made didn't turn out uh, good enough to show but i think the seahorse is okay it took almost four hours to thread all the little beads and finish it but i like it especially the pretty blue quartz and um, oh it doesn't say your name what a shame i've got your is it bird bird Brid. Brid? Maybe. Brid. Oh, Brid, sorry. I said Bird. No, don't oh. worry. No <gasps> Brid. problem. Brid. Sorry, Brid. That is absolutely... And I got that strand as well. Oh, and it is a beautiful gosh. strand. That is such a beautiful design. Amazing. So pretty. Well done to you. I love this one. That's nice. That is so neat. 340 says, Hi all. Uh, this week, I'm entering matching bracelet and necklace. The lapis and uh, lazuli are all from JM and the spaces are from my stash. I am still very new to this and this is my first attempt at rosary linking as demonstrated by Mark Smith. Um, I was so pleased with the results that I wore to the TGGC Summer Sparkle Ball last weekend. I can't tell you how grateful I am to have found a new hobby and what feels like a new family at JM. You are all brilliant. Keep up the good work. And that is from um, Kareen Aldale. Um, Kareen, I hope you said that right. Kareen, that is absolutely neat as you yes. like. Beautiful. Rosary so Lincoln you. is not an easy thing to do it straight is. off the bat. It isn't. It really isn't. So neatly. Yeah, it that is gorgeous. beautiful. Oh, I bet it went down a storm. 340 is your number. Right, we are back with more Wall of Fame later on. But after the break, I have got the chance for you to get involved with not one prize to be won, not two. Nope. Not, not three. Not four. Not five. Not six. Not seven. Not eight. Not nine. But 10 prizes to be won. Oh, it's like we rehearsed, <laughs> isn't it? And with 10 prizes to be won, all you have to do is stay tuned for a few more minutes and you have got the chance to win 10 amazing prizes with our 10 strand mystery bundle. We'll see you in a bit. Well, today on the Kamahimo course with Sarah Elvin, I've been learning how to do different types of braiding. I've been learning how to do the bracelets, I've been doing square braids, round braids, how to put beads onto them and how to put findings on. As I didn't know how to do any of this before the course, I actually found the course through going onto the Jewellery Maker Studio site and finding the tutorials and the workshops on the course, getting in touch with the studio and inquiring about the course. 
Before then, I didn't even know that the jewellery maker even existed. It has been a wonderful experience as I have learned so much that I never even knew existed before today. It has been a wonderful experience. I would recommend anybody at all to come on this course as it has opened my eyes to a whole new world. Join resident designer Sheila for our Bridal Headwear for Beginners DVD. Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara, the star hair comb, a twisted spiral tiara and much more. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. We have got it, it's here, it's your time, it's our time, it's your 10 strand mystery gemstone bundle that we've got here for you. I tell you what, not only are you going to be getting a wealth of gemstones, you've got the chance to be winning loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of prizes as well if you get your hands on this today. Your 10 strand mystery gemstone bundle can consist of any gemstone strands. It can consist of, uh, oh, you, what could you have in here? Well, you could have Labradorite, you could have Abalone, you could have, um, you could have Chrome Diopside, you could have Rose Quartz, you could have um, Aquamarine, you could have um, things like your uh, Tanzanite, you could have your Chalcedony, you could have um, Fire Opal in there, you could have your Carnelian, which by the way, we're running out of and aren't buying any of at the moment. Um, we could be getting, in there dendritic opal you could be getting absolutely anything this is just one example this is just one example we did exactly what you do we did exactly what you do we just put in an order to our warehouse to get over a sample sent across and this was just the sample we got it's not picked out the best sample it's not the worst sample it's just a sample all of these samples have already been split up they've already been individualized they'll all be different and all that it means is they will get put in a box the first one that was closest gets picked up it's as simple as that now the great thing about a mystery strand bundle is you'll probably get gemstones you might have worked for you might get shapes you've never worked with before. You might get colours you have never ever worked with before. I have got here for you your 10 strand gemstone mystery bundle, but not just are you going to be getting 10 beautiful strands for an amazing price. 
you're also entered into a competition as soon as you purchase this. For every single purchase, do you get added in? So if people enter three times, you will get entered into this competition three times. If you buy three of these products, that's exactly how many times you'll be entered into it. So let's have a look at this competition. If you purchase this 10 strand bundle today, what you will get is you will get picked at random entered into competitions. So your competitions that you will be getting, you have the opportunity to win. Not only spaces on two beautiful, um, one of our beautiful workshops, it's lovely, lovely Fleur. You will also be getting the chance to win signed DVDs, which is exactly what Fleur has just been doing. You've just been <laughs> signing those DVDs for us. So you've got the chance to uh, win, th you've got three opportunities to win those. You've also got chances to win five pieces of Fleur's jewellery. And I have got, um, where are those pieces that we decided? Got, uh, yeah, go on. We'll have a little nosy at them in a second. We'll have a little nosy at them. So 10 chances of winning. That means that 10 people are going to win. If you multi-buy, like you are, like I said before, if you're buying yourself twos and threes, you're entered two or three times. You could actually win two or three of the prizes. You could win yourself an individual handmade piece made by Fleur. You could also win a chance to meet her and the presenters and go to one of her workshops. And you could win a signed DVD. Pick completely and absolutely at random for you. And it is a great, great, great prize giveaway. Let's have a nosy at some of these pieces that you have the chance to win. Look, these are some of the designs we're giving away as part of this today. They are beautiful. Sorry, I'm gonna put them all in the room. It's all right, don't worry about it. Squeeze them along. Squeeze them in. Squeeze them in. These are what you have the chance of winning. There Big, bold neckline pieces, gorgeous, workable, wearable bracelet pieces, chainmail pieces with gemstones and organics galore over these. You get the chance to win five of those. It is absolutely sensational. You have got the chance to top up on your stash whilst winning some outstanding, outstanding prizes. This selection is magnificent. Not only will you be getting the mystery strand selection, which means you could work with gemstones you never have before, colours you've never worked with before, shapes you've never worked with before, but you get it at an amazing price point, and I can prove it. Your price point today for 10 strands. £2.50 per strand. That is astonishing, isn't it? Flo, what do you think of that? For 10 strands, and you don't know, I think that's, uh, that is brilliant. And if anybody wants to know what it's like to be a guest designer, Perfect. when you get you this back, yeah, because that's what we, that's what we get. We, we open our bag and we go, oh wow, we can put this with this and this with this absolutely brilliant and you know the, the the amount of worth that's in that 10 strands yeah. is oh I, I would hate to imagine what it would be worth to buy them all individually and what you've got you know but this you've got there in your selection you've got some large gemstones as some well huge very ones large in here. gemstones and beautiful colors and it's a great way to learn your colors and how to put your colors together as well because certain colors we have preconceived ideas of what would go together and what won't go together but when they're together like that and you see them like green and orange maybe you may not put green and orange together but with that the carnelian next to the um adventuring it looks beautiful it looks absolutely stunning so you it's a great way to learn to work with your colors and a great way to experience different gemstones you may never have had before or yeah. had the opportunity to buy Absolutely, and don't forget you get the chance to win amazing prizes. As soon as you purchase this, you're entered into that prize draw. Now we haven't got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, so it's not like, you know, you've got better odds than you would have if you say entering the lottery, obviously by miles. You have got, essentially, because we're giving out 10 prizes, you have got a massive, massive chance of winning. You really, really have a huge chance of winning. Um, this is, oh, the text said, hey girls, competition, there it is for you, competition side. By the way, we will and that's the winner on the 16th of July. Um, hi girlies, just bought the mystery gemstone so I'm so excited to see what I will get as I am um, very much a beginner. Thanks ladies and that is from Abby. Hello Abby, a lovely lady. That's the great thing about it, perfect for people who are beginning because you might get strands and it'll push you out of your, your comfort zone yeah. which is what we need sometimes. That's it. When I um, learned that I got the job to become a guest designer the colours in this next kit were the only the colours I used to work with, apart from my chainmail. Yeah. I never worked with uh, natural colours, so the, the 
oranges, the browns, uh, you know, the more natural colors, more jade colors, if you like. I never worked with those and I bought quite a few strands of them and now they're my favorite colors. Mm. And I don't tend to buy as many bright colors as I used to now, mm. I tend to buy, but I always used to steer clear because I always thought, oh no, they're not for me. But then I bought them and I got them home and I looked at them and that's what's great about these kind of mystery bundles is that you may not like a certain colour because you don't like it what it looks like on TV but when you get it home and you can see it in the flesh yeah. then you you know you your, your opinions may change on that beautiful gemstone. Absolutely. My producer is encouraging you strongly to check out those baskets. Producer Dion is saying get them to check out please. Uh, so do check out. Um, Dion, are people on the repeat going to be able to enter this as well? Yeah, so if you are watching on repeat, if you're watching at the night time or maybe early in the morning, it's Sunday morning, you can still enter this competition, which doesn't happen for a lot of our competitions. You'll know a lot of our competitions will um, give the winner away live on the show, won't we? This one isn't being announced until the 16th, so even if you're watching on the repeat, you will still be entered into this wonderful, fantastic competition where your prizes include two places on Fleur's workshop, three signed DVDs and the select of five pieces of jewellery and don't forget it's not just one person who wins all of these it's ten winners each person can get one of those prizes each it'll be a lucky dip as to what prize you will be getting but you you know uh, Flo you have got a couple of uh, uh, workshops yeah yeah um, I do. which ones might people get the chance of winning uh, I have a European workshop and a Japanese and Persian workshop so the European workshop obviously we go through all the European weaves um, that, that cor uh, correspond to the, the DVD or we've got the Japanese and Persian DVD which we do all that fam those two families of weaves um, but there may be some more ones in the pipeline as well don't yeah. Know. So yeah, but those Hi. are the two that are around at the moment. Yeah. Um, great. You don't even have to have done chainmail before. We've had people on the workshops that have never touched chainmail and come away with beautiful pieces. Yeah. So even as a perfect beginner, get yourself involved with this today. Keep on checking out, please. At uh, £25 for 10 strands, working out at £2.50 per strand. You know that our lowest price on an individual strand is told to be £6.95, so that is absolutely astonishing. Better than half price on each individual strand, even for our lowest price. It's amazing. Um, got for you now... Ooh, ooh pangas. 95 hangers I've got here for you and these are going to be beautiful for things like your kumihimo but also things like your chainmail these are going to be grateful because they tie in with the theme don't mm, they Flo? they do they certainly do um I can't see them are they the, oh, they're the ones, they're that these I've ones got you've there. got yeah, yeah I've got these ones I love these in pearl bracelets as well to have a pearl bracelet and then that very um designer that's on the high street um that's around yeah, he exactly. does those kind of uh, designs mm. these are great like you say chain mail you could use this with your kumihimo as well so the lady that did the kumihimo braids these are great because it's perfect for kumihimo easily do a six weave strand through here easily because you've got a decent sized hole in there especially if you're doing things like your eslon you could even get who knows 10 12 strand weave in there if you wanted to um it is just a sensational sensational collection that you have here um these are your plain hangers now as you can see you see that little section there it has got your 925 section on it so it goes to show exactly that you are getting that high high quality of gorgeous precious metal now with our 925 we are talking about an element um, you know on the periodic table that is used by by all the big names you know your Harry Winston your Boodles your Cartier all working with this same high-end 925 silver so you can get a touch of that class and a touch of that appeal with these really easily and it does have that gorgeous ridge around the outside which I just think catches the light and kind of spins it out beautifully towards you you have got five of these in total big big weight of precious metal within here of your 925 hangers they are uh, seven mil on the round section of these um, and you're getting five in total your price point today nine pounds and 95 pence for you today that is astonishing because if you look at the thickness of these if I get me ruler of truth <coughs> oh excuse me if I get me ruler of truth out we are talking about five mil look five mil we're talking about in width alone on these now think about it when you're looking at a jump ring we're usually looking at looking at about 0.8 of a mil aren't we 
five mil you're getting across on these. That is a massive, massive, massive amount of precious metal. It is. It is. And I've bought these before when before we do a maker started to do these, and I've paid a lot more than that for just two or three, not for five. No. Um, and they add they add a real lovely weight and luster to your piece. So if you were just to do um, a pearl stretchy bracelet hmm. and add this into the middle, that bracelet's gone from a you know if you just use just irregular shaped pearls, it's gone from 10, 15 pound to 25 to 35 pound because you've added that sterling silver in there. And we've been having some beautiful sterling silver charms. I saw some wishbone ones a couple of days ago. Oh, How that. lovely would that be just coming up? But they're great for necklaces as well. So some of the uh, some of the chains that we've been doing, you could put like a couple of chains through that so you could have a multi-layered chain and then have this pulling it down in the middle so it drapes then onto the sides. Really, really versatile, really versatile these are. But also as well, you could use the loop as an earring. So you could use the loop to attach it to an earring finder and you wouldn't have to use it as, as a pendant or a, a um, bracelet finding. That is fantastic, isn't it? I'm just thinking, you know, we're talking about high end. How gorgeous would it be? Oh, yeah. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't really that? makes it pop. Oh. You could do that, you could do the road and light for a couple of inches and then chain mail round off of it as well. So you've got your charm, your garnet and your chain mail. And that piece. chain mail as well. Yeah. And of course, do, 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 do. Mm. with it. Ooh, did you like that, Ryan? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. The mouth trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hello Beverly, how are you? Beverly says, Bex, before you um, had these, I bought thinner elsewhere for £5 each. I stocked up on these, they are so substantial, brilliant price, love them. Beverly, you're an absolute love, always love hearing from you Beverly, you're a lovely lady. Um, that is great to know, £5 each, so essentially, 5 10 15 20 £25 worth for, for thinner ones. Wow, is this? With Wowzers. a jadeite, to do a jadeite bracelet with one of those in the middle. With one of those, mm. centrepiece. I yeah. think we still have some of this jadeite, do we? Yeah, we do, absolutely we do. That'd be beautiful, because look, you know, as we showed you earlier on with that lovely piece that Sandra had made, jadeite does go great with silver, doesn't it? And, and nestle really in beautifully. Bad. It'd nestle in because they're yeah. a larger gemstone. they are larger gems. So it would nestle in lovely. Oh, it just gives a gorgeous look, doesn't it? Sterling silver, you've got that 925. You've got your precious, precious metal here. And it is exactly, exactly, exactly the same as used by those big top name designers, you know, because essentially this is an element and within that element, you have a deserved percentage. It's 92.5% genuine, real deal silver. So it is exactly the same as any other 925 pieces you see in those high-end stores, in those high-end jewellery families. It's the exact same thing. The way I described it yesterday, which I think um, kind of made a bit of sense, is because this is an element on the periodic table, you know, it's silver on the periodic table, it, it would be like saying or comparing... A, me saying that our quality is the same as things like you know Harry Winston's 925 etc is absolutely and completely fair, fair to say because if you think about it it is an element on the periodic table and if you think about other things on the periodic table for example carbon you don't get one carbon that's better than another carbon it is carbon you don't get one oxygen that's better than another oxygen it is oxygen just like this is silver so no matter where you're buying it the quality stays the same, but I tell you what, you lot know, that price can fluctuate dramatically, can't it? It really, really, really can. So genuinely, do get your hands on these absolutely whilst you can. Um, again, plenty in baskets. Do keep checking those out for me. I've got about 53 of these left. We've had a text in. Oh, I would just make them into earrings as um, studs. For those who don't want huge dangly earrings, Samantha in Cumbria, great, great, great idea. Because not everyone does want those big, large hoops. Yes. Yeah, when you get that ear drag sometimes, yeah. Blur. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, my. I have to be very careful. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I think I wore two heavy earrings when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big chandeliers. Yeah, huge ones. <laughs> Literally <It's> chandeliers. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get up yeah. my ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you do. You don't want that weight sometimes, in, and you want everyday earrings. You know, we all want jewelry that we can go out statement jewelry. But sometimes we want to just put jewelry on to make us feel 
a bit nicer and a bit better. Yeah, yeah. And spring in our step. That's it, and have a nice little glint of sterling silver rather than, like you say, the, the big long drops. Yeah. But great, these, these are really lovely with just some leather cord for gents, you know, they go to gents jewellery as well. So one of these, a leather cord, and then a hand stamped for Father's Day, hand stamped little tag, something like that, you know, just to get one of the little stamping blanks. You could put child's name on it or something like that and hang that as a charm from these, just on a piece of leather, mm. or the pendant cord that we've been doing, you know, the beautiful pendant cord. I know what you mean. That'd fit through there Big as well. Big picture, okay. Yeah. Perfect for Father's yeah. Day and yeah. well done on the reminder. Yeah. <laughs> 21st it is this year, 21st, isn't it? Yeah, I've already sent my Father's Day card. Okay. Yeah, I sent it about a week forgot. ago. <laughs> no, let me say that. They won't be watching. It's because they're in Spain. So it takes oh, a bit right. longer, it takes doesn't a long it? Time. It's got to swim take across. Longer. It does take longer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, don't forget that. These are around the corner and these are perfect for that. 33 opportunities left. Just 9 95 for all of that gorgeous, precious metal. I just love it. So well done to every single one of you. You've got those ones. They're going to be perfect to add to your collection, whatever your... Whatever your um, Medium, isn't it? Road Delight coming up about 10. You had that song in your head then, didn't you? I you were going to do a song. No, I was not. Um, you have got Road Delight here. That's coming up at, uh, well, not long at all, as I said, not long at all. Um, it's really, really beautiful. One of the biggest um, pieces we've seen for quite some time. Got for you now. Um, oh! Guess what it is? <laughs> it's treasure hunt time on blackboard. Ryan's pointing. Ryan's found it. Ryan, why did you find it I first? I saw you ruined it, Ryan. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I, I just don't like it when people win. Oh, it wasn't that one. No, oh, Cass found one. it first. Thank you, Cass. I have got here for you. Wowzers. A real, real mixed bag. Lucky dip for you here. You've got your lucky dip collection here of your class. Now, this is, I've got to say, a fantastic collection. And I'll tell you exactly for why. Number one, we get the three different colours. Back when we used to do the um, lucky dip findings, we wouldn't say to you that we would definitely bring you the different individual colours. But of late, you know, when we've had the samples sent over, we have we've had your gold we've had the kind of copper rose gold color and we've had the silver which is fab big tick another great thing about these ones it's not just one job it's not just a one hit wonder like um chesney hawks for example these packs that you're getting here are so fantastic because you've not just got shepherd hooks earring findings which don't get me wrong would be great you've also got clasped as well which means you know for a fact that when you get this you are going to have a selection of earrings different shapes different sizes that will most certainly match your clasps that is just perfect because essentially what it means is you are going to have a wide availability there for you to really get into your making now let me show you some examples here you know this is the great thing about it, it is a lucky dip you know let's play um <laughs> I don't know, pears. There you go, look, so I've got hearts, um, which is nice. I've got those in a few different ways. I've got a new in, one, I've not seen these before, shepherd dogs, they're funky, aren't they? I've got cord ends. Now, cord ends, one of the most loved of our cords, um, of our class ever, cord ends. These would be perfect with that kit we had earlier on, actually, with all those ribbons. So you've got them in different colours. Um, See, so I've got your hexagons as well. You've got your hexagons in, in two different, uh, in the same colour as well, which is great. You know, I've got a breastlet, bracelet and a necklace there. Easy peasy. Or I've even got similar style within the gold as well, if I want a bit of a mixed metals. I've got beautiful ones that we hardly ever see, you know, ones that we've just had in one pack, perhaps. Now and again, the great thing with this is it's versatility, it's variety, but because it's lucky dip you know it's going to have something in common they're all going to have a collection in them of um earrings or clasps you know that you're going to be getting your copper base so you know it's going to be nice and sturdy you know exactly what you're getting but also you know you're going to get a variety of the most popular colors which you also know are going to match the rest of your findings because it's the same colors that we've always got 50 packs i need to point out for you 50 packs of these so if I'm to show you two packs for example this 
is going to be 1 and then this would be 2. So these are two packs. So it doesn't mean 50 individual pieces, it means 50 packs and exactly the same for things like the shepherd hooks. With our shepherd hooks like this design, you don't just get one pair per pack, do you? You get two pairs per pack. So again, you know, it's not 50 components, it's 50 packs. So you could have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of findings in here depending on your selection. How much is the findings pack? What have we been looking at in the gold colours? Gold and rose gold colours, you know, the kind of a hundred piece ones. Don't forget those are a hundred pieces, well, not a hundred packs, so you're getting way more here. Well, what have they been? 7.95, 8.95 for a hundred pieces. Realistically, you know, with the amount of pieces you're getting in here, bearing in mind, this isn't even a whole example because I've still got a few left over in this pack. We couldn't even fit all the silver ones on here, so there's loads more in here. Your price point today, 50 packs, is £19.95. How much is that per pack? Per pack? That is astonishing, isn't it? That is absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing price point. About 40 pence per pack. 40 pence for the equivalent of three of your cordons, which we always need, which we always run out of because you can use them in so many different mediums. You can use them and you do use them constantly. 40p approximately for two pairs of earrings, working out 10p for an earring. And I say 10p because you know it's big in fashion right now, isn't it? To just wear one beautiful big feather oversized earring. 10p per one. That is astonishing. That is, you know, beating any of the biggest sales we've seen or had before. It is. That and the 10 strand mystery bundle and you've got your whole craft stall done and you can make a lot of, like you say, a lot of pieces of jewellery. I um, take the S clasps off and uh, use them separately as well. Sometimes the ribbon clasps, I don't think you have to use that clasp with that ribbon clasp, with ribbon end. Ribbon end, yeah. Take them off and use them in your designs. But yeah, that and, like I say, the 10 strand mystery bundle, you've got a lot of, you've got a whole craft stall and more of jewellery that you could then put out there for... No, under 50 pounds for yeah. the two you could do your whole craft store and it's it's coming to the time now where all the school fates and that they're all asking for people to you know help out or do you want a stall you could do you could do your stall and the bits that you don't sell they make perfect christmas presents easy peasy done yeah. and dusted that gem 10 strand gemstone bundle is at the bottom of your screen it worked out two pound fifty per strand which is astonishing but you also got entered into a competition as well that competition gave you the chance of winning 10 prizes so 10 people can win prizes uh, such as you know uh, free entrance to one of our workshops and free signed dvd and, and loads of goodies so do come in and get that you'll all be entered into a prize draw even if you're watching on the repeat uh, it'll be announced on the 16th of July for you June or July June so do keep your eyes peeled and um, loads of you with this in your baskets do check out I've got multi buyers oh 16th of July so next month next month um, it is uh, coming through for you so you've got um, you know do get in and get that whilst you can 19 pounds and 95 pence work out about 40p per pack for not just earring findings but also for your clasps Great price point. Well done, absolutely everyone there. AWGC 54 is good. Um, coffee now on the table. Some spacers. Oh, these spacers will go really, really nicely with the um, kit we had on earlier. You know, with your mechanical beads. Yeah. Wouldn't they? Oh, they'd be nice, yeah. Wouldn't they? Because they'd look great against the lapis as well, wouldn't they? Because of that sub-metallic yeah. luster that you yeah. have in elements, just pa mm. partitioned through that lapis, it would be gorgeous because it's similar colour to this actually, isn't it? The inclusions within the lapis. You've got your gorgeous rose gold plated copper by County. And again, sizeable drill hole on these. Now, Fleur, what would you be doing with these, please? Come back. I would be buying these. If I could see into the future, I'd be buying these when I see the next kit. <laughs> because they go <laughs> perfectly with the next kit. Absolutely brilliantly. Um, I'd love to do macrame with these. Macrame really? and kumihimo, yeah. I'd love to do some macrame, um, some real metallic, like just no other gemstones on there, just these in the middle. Um, really nice to use in necklaces as well to break up the gemstones. So just say with the jadeite that's there, because that I think rose gold for me, 
I would like with a jade eye. Would that be you go to colour for the jade eye? That would be my go because they're both soft. They're both a beautiful soft feminine colour. So for me, that's what I would. That's what I would go with those two, and just pop in one in between. You know, just for the centre part of the of the necklace, say, and then chain or chain mail away from say five of those beads and three of the spacer beads. They're great in your stash. We always do necklaces, and we always somebody says, "Oh, can you make it a little bit longer?" And you always go, mm, well, I've got no more of those gemstones. But what I can do is I can put spacer beads in there and make that length from the spacer beads rather than having to buy or try and find some more of the gemstones that you've got. So these are always great for your stash. They're always go to great earrings. But not a lot of people want, you know, people just want metal earrings. They don't want gemstone earrings. They want right? just the, like you say, with the feathers, these are great to sit on top of the feathers because that large drill hole will sit over the top of over that feather. Over the top and cover up the so messy bit. So cover it all up there. Yeah. So yeah. they're really, really handy. Great for resin, great for polymer clay, great for friendly plastic, bead weaving. But I don't think there's anything that you can put it with. Gemma's ribbon that she did yesterday, you could thread these onto the ribbon. You could put them onto the finger knitting and things like, you know, thread yeah. them on and then knit them into, um, into your design. Really nice. Really, really simple, wouldn't it be? Someone yeah. has a message saying, um, can you put these on jump rings? Well, you absolutely could because the drill yeah. hole is large enough, but it will very much depend on the circumference yeah. of your jump rings. So the 10 mil jump rings that are in the matrix box, definitely these would go on to the I, four mil. Yeah, uh, the, um, you know, the large 10 millimeter ones, yeah, so they make about the eight millimeter inside diameter. Yeah, yeah. They would fit on there because like you say, it's the actual circumference. Would that bead fit half inside of that jump ring? Yeah. And then be able to, to weave it as well. Or some people just have like the bead onto the jump ring and then use that as, a, as an element for an earring. But yeah, they, these would, but you'd need a larger jump ring. You'd or if you want to make your own jump rings, you can customize the size with the jump ring maker, the larger jump ring maker. The larger that we one. Do. Yeah. Um, just to let you know that the Matrix box did sell out earlier on, I'm sorry about that, but I've got more jump rings coming up, have I? I have got more jump rings coming up in the show today, so do keep your eyes peeled, because who knows? You've got 62 opportunities left, you've got 100 of these in total, they're four mil, eight pounds and 95 pence for you today. And I mean, we're talking about earrings, you know, we've just brought you that mystery strand pack of your earring findings, which are gonna go perfectly color wise with these. How much I'd be selling a pair of you know metal earrings for approximately i would sell a pair of earrings for anywhere between 10 and 15 pounds yeah, without yeah. any gemstones on there yeah. um depending on design if you just popped the only the, you, you couldn't just pop these onto a head pin you'd have to have a flattened head pin because yes, they'd fall off the end yeah, yeah. yeah they'd come off the end but you could do like um put them on some monofilament and make a, a ring you know like a just a small circle tie it off and use that as your earring so you've got a round you know like a circle of these beads but yeah definitely i mean i know mark sells his earrings for five pounds so you can go anywhere for five pounds upwards i yeah. probably wouldn't go any less than five pounds because no. it then without saying it, it sort of like doesn't cheapen the rest of your work but it but there's a huge big price difference I find on my stall if there's a massive difference people want to know why you know a chainmail bracelet is 40 pounds and an earrings of five pounds so I tend to like make my earrings say 10 pounds rather than five pounds but that's just you. personally for me it depends what you're selling and again yeah. where yeah and where yeah um, loads of you coming and getting these. They are extremely, extremely popular. Um, 38 chances left, it says, but that's not really true. So many multi buyers and loads in baskets, over 20 in baskets by the look of things. So come on in, get these whilst you can at that price point. It is absolutely astonishing. You know what these will go great with? My special spotlight deal. That gorgeous road to like garnet. These will be perfect with it, and it is coming up for you right now. Just a stunning, stunning strand. First time I've ever seen shaded rosalite. Is it your first time too? It's mine. Shaded Rhodolite Garnet. One of the most strenuous gemstones to get due to the low yields. Lovely director Kerry, do you have a slide regarding this for me? Fantastic. I have got here for you gorgeous Rhodolite Garnet, which seems to have an arrow going down on it. 
fantastic. Now, let me talk to you about rose like garnet and what we're getting here. You can see the array of colors here, which is kind of tricky, but my torch will help me. Um, you have got the darker, 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 richer plummy tones. It goes all the way to the light right over there, as you can see. So this is shaded. It's got a multitude of colors. And what I have got here for you is just spectacular. It really is a sensational, sensational strand. But I tell you what it is. This has got low yields to it. What do I mean by yield? Okay, yield isn't technically what you get out of the ground, realistically. Yield is a percentage, usually referred to as a percentage. And when we're talking about yields, we're talking about the difference between that of which we get out of the ground as rough and what you get from that as a consequence of actual gemstone. So this gemstone here is extremely, extremely low percentage when it comes to yields compared to that of rough. Now what that means is when we are getting things like this out of the ground, um, there is a lot of time, work and effort to get this out and to kind of um, uh, get this out of the ground in a safe manner in which keeps the yields percentage as high as we possibly can because if the yield percentage is low then essentially it, it, it's waste uh, in a way it's waste it's a waste of money time and effort this gemstone has when it comes to yields one of the lower um, kind of percentages on our yield percentage which essentially means that it is a, a, a very very much a higher priced gem um, in general now let me give you an example of exact yield. So um, I've got a first slide to show you here, and this is just a picture of rough on um, a miner's hand. So this is the rough. This is what we take out of the ground. And as you can see, you know, there's all the kind of mucky areas that obviously just need a little bit of a polish off. But apart from that, those big, big pieces you can see there, like you can see, you know, it's taken up not only his palm, you can see it's passing his thumb, it's basing onto the fingers and it's just resting on the tip of the little finger. So, you know, it's a gent's hand. It's quite a large area you've got there. If you're looking at your own palm, you know, and it's not just flat, you know, it's a big area that that amount is taken up. Now, yield percentage, the next picture I'm about to show you, is with the rough taken away. So only the pieces that can be used as gemstones. That is the exact same pieces that you saw in that previous picture. So if I show you the pictures of them together, this is literally before and after. A pieces and selections that have covered up essentially a whole of this gent's hand, you know, literally a few hours later, once all of that rough and all of the rubbish has been taken away, after it's all been cobbed and separated, it doesn't even take up a flat layer on the center of that person's palm. That is therefore a huge, huge, huge decrease in the amount you're actually getting from the rough. That's why getting this amount on a strand is so special. This isn't your average looking length strand to me at all. This is much longer than you would expect to see on an average length. Not only that, look at the carat weight on this. You have got a hundred carats worth there, which is an ex, ex, you know, it's an excessive amount. It's a massive amount, but not just that. Some of the biggest pieces, in the center, you're looking at around about a six by four of this gorgeous gemstone. That is an astonishing, astonishing amount realistically, isn't it? To get your hands on such a plummy, jammy, shaded strand. And don't forget, this is straighted, uh, shaded for you. It is quite hard to see actually under these lights, but there is a big, big, big difference in color. You're going from these really, really, really gentle kind of um, um, almost um, plummy colors to these deep, rich, Pinot Noir kind of colors that you've got running through here. It is just spectacular. You were taken uh, by this instantly, Fleur. Yeah, I love garnet. Um, for me, doing my historical pieces, garnet and pearls is one of my big sellers because they, you know, they've been around for a very, very long time. And like we said before, you know, very wealthy people have worn garnets. It's a birth gemstone. I love the fact that you can get it in different colors as well because um, when I, before I started here and before jewelry maker started my garnet was always like really dark and you couldn't see through it it was almost like a black gemstone whereas this rodent like garnet you can see oh, i can see all the shades in that as you as you hold it up there mm. absolutely beautifully and i couldn't get over the length of this strand that's what i couldn't get over that's exactly how what much I said. there's got. loads isn't there and garnet does go with everything i mean garnet and smoky quartz looks just beautiful Gorgeous. together garnet and white pearls but you can also then pop it with something very bright yeah. And, and make it pop, pop as well. Absolutely, your price point today for this brand new strand. 
£39.95 for you today on this. That is fantastic. And I tell you who knows that. Fran does pomegranate. Um, hashtag road and I got it. Um, absolutely, you are right about that. Yeah, the, the pomegranate tones. Um, sometimes your rhodonite is, is referred to as that as well, as well as your rhodolite, which we have here, which is just a beautiful strand, isn't it? $39.95, reduced in price for you. Get time for your chat. Wait, what? Time for your um, collection of pieces now, mm -hmm. lovely, lovely Fleur. Well done anyone who got that. When you get it at home, you're going to be blown away and you'll probably have to double check the code because it looks so much better in real life, I think. Um, I'm going to head on over to the lovely Fleur now to take a little look at what she has been creating. I love this I love it. I love these colours. I love this shell. Amazing, this kit. Love it. You just love the brightness of it and I love the name of it as well. It's a great, great name for a kit. Mm. I just think it's gorgeous, isn't it? Just love it. Love the big S clasps that we've been getting as well. We get one of these big S clasps with this kit as well, so that really helps to sort of like hang your pieces beautifully mm. as well. Mm. And you have got that big piece within here, which is just fab, isn't it? I've also got in this findings packs things like your chain as well, which really go well with the pieces, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it does. It really does. And it's just such a fresh kit, this. I think it's a really beautiful, fresh kit. Um, and I just think it's fun and it's lovely. And you would wear this. I, for me, this is my summer barbecue kit. Is it? This is what I would wear this jewellery yeah, with a nice long black maxi dress. And you can get that feel actually when you're looking at it all. It does give yeah. you that look and that appeal, doesn't it? it makes me smile this kit. Mm. Yeah, because it's just the colours are just so juicy and lovely. Yeah. And then you've got your pearls as well that make it really feminine. Tell you what, those pearls are funky, aren't they? They are, they are great. And do you know these pearls? I got the elastic through these pearls. Which really is easily. ridiculous rarity. Yeah, and I didn't cherry pick the pearls. I just picked them up off the strand and they all went onto the elastic mm -hmm. really well. And to get pearl stretchy bracelets. Which is exactly what you've what, done what there. What I did with one. I know mm. it's a, a really simple technique, but I just couldn't resist just popping them onto elastic yeah, yeah. because that's a piece of jewellery you just pop on, brighten up on a horrible day like it is outside here. Um, mm. You'd brighten yourself up then, wouldn't you? you when it's raining, put Absolutely. a nice orange and a uh, beautiful uh, shell bracelet on. Absolutely. This one's your stretchy one here, which is really rare for us to be able to see, isn't it? Really rare. Really, really unusual. But I think it makes um, pearls even more effortless to wear. It does. It really does. Um, a lot of people, like, they'll wear a pearl necklace. Some people don't want to wear pearl necklaces. Mm. They want just like a, a, a few and a bracelet. Mm. Can't do clasps. But then historically we couldn't get pearls without reaming them all to onto the elastic but with these ones they went straight on with no problem with them no at all no problem at all no possibly due to the size of them because as you can see these are seriously seriously sizable pieces aren't they you've got that beautiful orange and you've got the pink it's gorgeous isn't it what are these two making you think of instantly when you see them together and when you opened your pack I think these two, these two strands alone would be, do you know if you're going to a wedding and yeah. you maybe didn't want to wear a nice bright dress but you wanted your jewellery to do the talking, for me you've still got the classic pearl but in these colours this would do all the talking for mm. you, for me that's why I would mm. think of these two and then the other two would be my barbecue, <laughs> these <laughs> my two here. garden party, these two here. We haven't had our banded shell on in ages and I've missed it, I love banded shell. It's so exciting, especially in these tiger stripe colours. Oh, they're fab, aren't they? How is that strand to work with? Great, because it's both sides as well. Yeah. So it's not just on one side. So you can, if it turns over in, in the piece, you've still got those beautiful stripes on the other side. Real fun. I just loved them. And Neve loved them as well. Neve had her little beady eyes on this one. She was like, oh, what's that, mummy? I was like, it's not for you. Not for <laughs> you. Catch your eye away. <laughs> um, so in that beautiful, beautiful, um, the queen shapes, which again, we don't see that often, no, do we? We no. don't see queens that often yeah. at all. In that beautiful queen shape, you are going to be getting those lovely, lovely zebra striped shell. And the size wise on those ones, you're looking at, are they they're 12 mil coins. I've also I got for you that gorgeous bright fuchsia shaded agate strands 90 carats worth now this gave you a bit of inspiration surely yeah it did because I shade I, I 
I did about four or five different designs in my head with this and then I laid them out on my b-board of shading them so having the darker ones in the middle and going out to the lighter ones but then I decided to put in some of the pearls as well and I think on the necklace there I've added some of the um, the shell those beautiful shell coins but try to like graduate the colour so go dark medium and then light within that. that every time I use the three together that is gorgeous way of doing that. It's really eye-catching, isn't it? Not only have I got that bindings pack, which I showed you straight away, I've got those four strands, the two genuine freshwater pearls, those 12 mil shell, and I've also got that agate, which, by the way, was six mil rounds. I then also have your essential threading pack. It's the only one we've had on the show today. It's a bit nice to be a bit different. Elastic monofilament and your beading thread in there, and we're going to be using this in our demo, actually. Your price point today? under 20 pounds 19 pounds and 95 pence you'd make your money back on that with just a pearl bracelet yeah a stretcher pearl bracelet and this is a great as soon as i looked at it i thought this would be great for a beginner as well because you've got coins so you've got a, a different shape you've got your pearls which if you're starting out everybody knows what pearls are and then you've got those perfect six mil rounds but each strand you can get elastic through them yeah. and so you can just do stretchy bracelets with them all if you wanted or just simple earrings beautiful it is it's a fabulous kit and for that price it's amazing isn't you it you pay that for those two strands of pearls yeah i absolutely love and adore this and fleur it wouldn't be a show without you and i if there wasn't a <laughs> bit of crochet chat now would it yeah i had to get a bit of crochet in there of course, you did. of course you did we have got a crochet demo for you coming up now which is exactly what we've used the yeah. beading thread for we get so much beading thread um and i thought you know we use it for stringing our, our beads on and some people like you can macrame with it but i thought well it's lovely to crochet with as well and it really does it's easy to crochet with and it holds its shape rather than wire and i know the wall of fame was saying the lady on the wall of fame how you know sometimes it can be difficult with wire to crochet yeah yeah beading thread is easy because it does slip off of your your um hook nicely but it's great it's really lovely and like i say we get so much of it i just thought we'd try and do something a little bit different with it and yeah. i know it's been done before so we just go over how to start your Brush crochet. Brush over it. Crochet is, is everywhere at it the is. moment. It really is. All ages can get yeah. involved with it. So um, we're going to have a demo on how to create this. Oh, just before we start, how yeah. much would we sell this bracelet for? I'd sell that bracelet for about £20. Yeah. £20 to £25. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And you haven't obviously used a whole strand, no, have you? No, I've still got um, quite a few pearls left, actually. I bet I've got like a quarter of a strand of each colour left. Mm. So I could have done another couple of stretchy bracelets with it as well and had them as stacker bracelets. Even though you've made all of these pieces. Yeah. So essentially, make this one technique which we're going to show you now, make your money back. The rest is pure, pure, pure yeah. profit. Or oh, just pure enjoyment. You know, it's not all about yeah. selling on, isn't it? No. Just pure fun. If you're going on holiday, what a lovely kit to make your holiday jewellery from. <gasps> Yeah, Perfect. really nice because you've got your daytime and your evening time. Yeah, love it. Okay, so we're going to learn how to create this. Just to let you know, your names have gone off on screen, but to everyone who's already got it, congratulations, pat on the back. To get yourself a kit for under £20 is always yeah. going to be fab, let yeah. alone when it's these colours, which I've got to say are so in fashion, yes. you're even adorned in them yourself they are. today. Everywhere I went yesterday, there was these colours. They are everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And like I said before, if you don't want your clothes to do your talking, let your jewellery do your talking, and these colours are perfect for that. Get that on a t-shirt Fleur. Okay, you should. I should do um, that. <laughs> do check out your baskets because that's going extremely quickly. Okay, okay. So we're going to show it record aren't we? We're going to show it record and then I'm going to show you how how um, how it is on the beading thread and how okay. to add the pearls. Right. Okay so when you're crocheting and before you crochet you need to add your beads onto your beading thread because you can't add them as you start to crochet because we do crochet off the off the reel because we don't know how long it's going to be how long that piece is going to be so to start crochet we need to leave a little tail on the end okay mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is we're just going to do an over loop so all i've done is brought my left hand over my right hand and hold the loop together and then i fold the loop back and then with my hook go down and up and you've created like a slip knot, okay? And then th it's this side here that will pull tight. Now, when we're crocheting, like everything, especially chainmail, um, crochet is the same. The first bit is the most hard bit. You try and hold it all together. But what we're going to do is keep the hook with the hook facing up. We're going to bring the thread over the hook so it sits over. All we're going to do is pull it, and as you pull it, turn the hook to the side and through the first loop. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what I tend to do with wire and with beading thread is get into the habit of pushing that loop further down the hook because that keeps all of your um, loops symmetrical, okay? So all I've done is press past the thread with my um, third finger over the top of the hook, turn the hook, and as you pull it through, if you try and pull the hook through as the hook is facing up to the sky, it can tend to get stuck. So I turn mine to the side and pull through. And what you need to, if it gets a little bit stuck, just give it a little wiggle, it will come through. If your hook comes out, don't worry at all. You can soon just pop that hook straight through and you'll soon get into a rhythm. And like knitting, like macrame and everything else, it's about the tension. So you'll find your own tension. What I tend to do is when I started, I was making really large loops. Now these chain loops here are denoted by the size of the hook that you use. So my hook is a three millimeter hook. Um, what you, with the beading thread, I don't go any more than three millimeters because the holes then are too big and it gets a little bit too loopy. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're using cords, you can go up to like a five or six mil. And if you're using the sari threads and the sari ribbons, you can use a lot more. So that's your mechanics of crochet. And that's just a basic chain stitch. And so it ends up like this. So what I'm going to do now is just switch over to the beading thread and just show you how you, would, how you would crochet a pearl yeah. into it. So this is my starter chain here. So I've already added one pearl on. I have my pearls onto my cord already, onto my beading thread. Mm -hmm. And I tended to do three in between, three stitches in between each pearl. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a pearl up to the crochet hook and then pass the cord over the top of the over the top of the um, hook again and as you pull it through turn the hook and you don't even have to do anything to that pearl and it's on there so I'll just do another couple and like I said just get used to keeping the uniformity of your loops by just pushing it down down onto the um, crochet hook okay add a pearl up so it just sits flush to the last um, chain that we did over the top with the beading thread and pull it through and that then is attached into your chain. Simple. So it's very, very simple. And all I did is I did three, three chains of six inches. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a little bit stretchy with this. It's not with the wire, um, but with beading thread, it has got a little bit of spring to it. So it's really nice. And then I just plaited those. You could, un you could put the ribbon cord ends on the end. I've clasped mine with, the, um, with a crimp cover and a crimp underneath. So mm -hmm. just as you would, add your um, beading thread to the back and because this beading thread so lovely it will keep that lovely silver sheen if you've got any coloured beading thread you could do one with a silver one with a gold lovely. one with a blue say you know add yeah. some different colours in as well but crochet is a really beautiful lightweight way of adding uh, adding texture to your jewellery mm. and and chunkiness to your jewellery without it being really heavy really over the top heavy Fleur you're an excellent teacher oh, and that you, is from Jane, Jane. thank you gotcha. That is wonderful, isn't it? We're going to get on a space rocket, maybe, <laughs> or maybe we're not. What are we going to get on to go over there? Planet of Fame, which I know has come down from Universe, but it's Planet Oh, Fame. it's better than Village. Yeah, it was better than Village, We're yeah. getting on our rocket to go to Planet of Fame. <laughs> We're up here on the planet of fame. The air is thin, but we are being inspired <laughs> by some amazing mm. forms of artwork we found. We are, and I'm gonna start with number 341. And this is a beautiful, looks like a wire work macrame. This is from Jane in Cornwall. It hey says, Jane. Hi all at JM, here is my entry for the wall this week. I haven't sent any in for a few weeks. This is my first try at macrame with wire and bead. The beads are dyed agate with turquoise and silver wire, all from JM of course. Hope it go, gets to the wall. I enjoyed doing it and will be trying other wire macrame. I will have to have a look on YouTube for some more designs from Mark. And that's from Jane in Cornwall. That is beautiful. Love it, Jane. Beautiful Love design. it. Lovely colours. Really beautiful. Really so hard to get your tension right for that. So it well is. done. 344 is getting a bit lacy. I have uh, got a beautiful, beautiful piece here. It says, hi all. Um, this is the lace I had from one of Sheila's kits. I've added black 
agate and attached silver chain to the back. I would love to see this on the wall of fame. I've had money for a recent birthday and I'm going to book a workshop. Having a win would mean I could book two. Um, keep up the good work and inspire us with your jewellery making and cheering us up on rainy days. Mm. I live in Wales so we have lots of those and that <laughs> is from Gillian. Gillian, that piece is so, mm. so beautiful. I love the lace. Oh. I think it's beautiful. That monochrome look and oh, that juxtaposition yes. between the, the beautiful yeah. hard gemstones and that softness of the yeah. lace is just stunning. Uh, well done to you, Gillian. It's probably tipping it down in Wales, so I, put, I hope that's put a bit of brightness into your day. Uh, 344 is your number. Okay, I've got number 342 and someone's been very, Ooh. very busy making some stunning rings. Uh, and this is from Shirley. It says, Hi all at JM. I finally managed to get the metal ring mandrel from yourselves and made these. I've used silver and copper coloured wire and various stones. I've tried a few different styles and I'm pleased with the result. Keep on giving us designer inspiration shows as they really do help. Good luck to all in the draw. And that's Shirley from Pembrokeshire. Wonderful. Love that. Beautiful we absolutely colours. will. Do not you worry, Shirley. They're gorgeous. I love this one. I like gorgeous. these clustery ones. Yeah, really Ooh, nice. Fab. It's not for everyone there. Look at how beautiful oh, that Labradorite nice. is. Ooh. Very nice photography to keep capture that. Capture the Labradorescent. Uh, 345 is by Cassandra. Um, it says, hello all at Jewelry Maker. My entry is a Labradorite necklace with tiny rainbow pyrite seeds um, as bead spacers. Unfortunately, the photo doesn't do the Labradorite just, uh, justice. There is Schiller on every bead. All products from Jewelry Maker. Good luck all. And that's from Cassandra. Cassandra, beautiful. Yes. And it is hard to get Labradorescents, isn't it? Even under these studio lights, it's, it's really hard. So well done to you. You've got a fair few on that picture. Um, 345. Okay, this was number 343. And this is from Fran. And it says... Um, Bright warm morning to everyone. The attached photo shows the prototype of a Kumahimo round braid using silver beading thread. I need to work out how to finish the bracelet properly, but I think it's a good use of beading thread. Stay safe and well, everyone, and keep the fun and pretties coming. And that's from Fran. That's perfect, Fran, because that's what we were just saying about Fran, the... genius. Yeah, re that beading thread, you can use it for so, so many yeah. different uh, techniques yeah. and designs. But yeah, I think that's a wonderful. And again, with the different colour beading threads that we do, it'd be Fabulous. Ladies and gents jewellery, I love yeah, that. Really nice handmade. Fran, as well. you clever, clever lady. Love that. Beautiful. Well done to you. Three four three is your number. After the break, a girl's best friend. It's gonna last longer than chocolate, and I think it's prettier than Brad Pitt. So it's probably better that you stay where you are. Diamonds after this break. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. join guest designer Laura Binding on our Intermediate Wirework course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wirework skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the Wirework Tutorial DVD Edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. If you're new to Jewellery Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she takes you on the fascinating journey of creating face canes using polymer clay. In each chapter, Debbie will guide you through how to create each part of the face then, with the final chapter, advance your skills and learn how to add detail and character to your piece. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. 
Get creative with Jewelry Maker. My name's Leslie. Today I've been on the Structured Wire Work course with Gemma Crow. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I've been used to doing quite a lot of wire work, but always with smaller gauges. And I've been a bit wary of, and to know what to do with the thicker gauges. And today Gemma's taken us through a beautiful talk necklace this morning that looked totally impossible when we first saw it, but it's really quite easy. She made it very easy, very simple steps. Um, and that's turned out brilliantly. And we're now working on bangles, and then we're going to do a ring. So we're covering a wide range of things that's gonna give me the confidence to go back and be able to do some more at home. You've got the chance to own a legacy right here, right now. The only thing is not everyone has the chance to do this. Not everybody today gets to own a legacy. Not everybody today gets to own an heirloom like this of this beautiful, beautiful gemstone. It is one of the most popular, the best known gemstones in the entire world. It has been used by all of the big names and it is rare as you could imagine. I have got here for you the sensational, brand new, faceted grey diamond. Take a little look at this piece and straight away off the bat to anyone who's getting it today, a massive congratulations. Oh my gosh, it is just spectacular in its look and in its appeal. I have got here for you a seriously beautiful, beautiful strand of your faceted diamond. Diamond is a legacy. Diamond is something that not everybody in their lifetime will get to own. Diamond is something that people understand and sometimes envy the value of constantly. When it comes with a diamond, uh, what you're getting is an extremely high-end gem that all people will recognize and know. Just look at that sparkle for a minute. I was absolutely blown away by the price of this because I know that the first time I brought to you a faceted diamond, a faceted diamond, which was, um, I'm not even sure it was this many carats. It was 197 pounds and 95 pence. So it's the first faceted strand I brought you. And I'm not even sure it was this much of a carat weight for some reason. I'm sure it wasn't nine centimeters. I'm sure it was six centimeters. I'm absolutely sure it was six centimeters. Um, but I remember it being 197 pounds and 95 pence. And it was one of the first faceted strands of diamonds I had ever, ever seen. And I loved it at that price anyway. If you think, if you consider how much it would be to get three carats worth in Say a diamond engagement ring. Well, when would you ever get that? Realistically, the three carat diamonds are the types of things you see on, you know, film stars, isn't it? It's the type of thing you see on the front cover of OK or Vogue or, you know, um, Glamour and the gossip magazines. Three carat diamond rings just don't come across often. Even ones that are encrusted with diamonds. You know sometimes when you get say, oh main gemstone is spinel and then you get it encrusted with giant diamonds at the side. A lot of those diamonds you know will be, well not even a point of a gem, uh, not even a point of a carrot. Um, but you know they are so 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 small, so 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 tiny and delicate. They're not even up to size on the more gentler version um, or end of my strand that I've got here. They wouldn't even be that area. And the interesting thing with those as well, the ones that are encrusted in things like rings 
and alongside things like spinel, those pieces aren't actually faceted the vast majority of time. What happens is they're left rough, but because diamond is notoriously, you know, it notoriously has those, those characteristics on the surface of it, they don't even have to facet them. They literally just sort of stick them in and pop them in and that's it, it's done. The workmanship, the craftsmanship that's gone into this, therefore is way more intense than on those higher end strands for lots of lots of um, different pieces. But also the size of these ones, those ones in the middle, Oh, are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Someone's just messaging, can I pop it around my wrist? I absolutely can, there you go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, just stunning really, isn't it? Just absolutely exceptional. You have the chance to own a legacy here today and I really do have to point that out. I also have to point out that actually at this moment in time, there's probably only about 40 people who get to own this legacy from now on, from this point up, probably about 40, 45 people who get to own this legacy strand right here, right now. Um, it is truly a spectacular piece that you won't just create for yourself, you will create um, for yourself, for your best friend, and you will create something that essentially will be an heirloom to hand down. Now, when we talk about diamond, and we're talking about the gemstone itself, um, we're talking about something that in its extreme is rare. Did you know that when it comes to diamond, one, one carat's worth, of diamond in every 10,000 carats worth of diamond has any type of natural coloring to it at all, which I just think is absolutely astonishing. And it goes to show you really kind of the rarity and the rarity aspects of, of this stunning gemstone. It really, really does. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've got multi buyers on this. Now, how often does that happen? That goes to show you, that goes to tell you precisely why this is so popular. And it's probably because a lot of people can see the prize. Wow. What a price, says Marie. Absolutely true. Now, I can't remember if I told you the price no, of this or not. No, I don't the price, no. No. I have no idea. You have got the opportunity to own this later on, um, but I would say to you, if you want to come in and you want to even guesstimate and what the price is right now, I'd say give the call centre a call. 0800 644 655 to find out for yourself. But, you know, what prices are you going to be expecting for this? Do you remember that diamond strand yeah, that I, I'm referring yeah, to? Yeah, I do remember that one. Was it the one with the little rice, with the rice bees and they had about six yeah. of them on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for me, I think this one is a lot more money than that one because obviously you've got a lot more diamonds on there. I am, mm. um, yeah, I, I think that would be, this would be considerably more than that one. You would expect yeah. it to be because yeah. essentially with that one, you could make six individual pieces of jewellery. Yeah. With this one, I don't even dare check, but I'm going to have a, a sort of guesstimate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There, am I halfway? Not quite. So I'm gonna say, and this is hedging my bets, I've got about 52 diamonds. What? Imagine that, if you go half skis with your friends, go half skis with your friends on the price of this, okay? You're gonna be getting yourself about 26 diamonds each. That is amazing. Considering that, you know, on the strand that we're referring to, the one that has kind of the six gemstones on it, you know, you're going to be um, getting, well, three each, essentially. What did you say then, Dee? Right, honestly. Mm -hmm. If I said to you, you could get each of these diamonds for less than four pounds each. You can't do it. Well, I can. Can you? I can do less than three if you want. No. You isn't can't. That, I know, isn't that more, that is, that is shocker. That is the type of thing you might expect me to say for a cabochon of rose quartz. Not for this. Not for a diamond. No. Three pound per diamond that's on that strand. Well, slightly less. Slightly less. No. Slightly less. I'm not good, very good at maths. So I can't even begin to. Approximately work it out. two pounds eighty-ish. 
per one. Now that's with me underplaying it because mm. I counted 25 and I wasn't even part way there yeah. really. I was, I was just off halfway. Your price point today. No. <laughs> £149.95 pence for faceted high-end legacy living gum memory diamond. One of the most sought after and stunning of all gemstones. The gemstones that everybody knows working out approximately per diamond £2.80 ish per diamond. That is knock your socks off, fall over shocker isn't it? It is. That, for me, that is. I wouldn't be sharing it for that. No. Because uh, that one in the middle, I mean, uh. if that one in the middle was set into, say, um, a ring, you know, the, the one in the middle and then the two either side? Yeah, yeah. Into some sterling silver wire, yeah, yeah. you'd be paying a lot more than that. True. More, you know, for handcrafted right. jewellery that's, that's hand-wrapped and, and with three diamonds and sterling silver. Yeah, that would be a lot for the lady like Sammy that works with uh, sterling silver wire and diamonds. I know you know she'd be uh, looking at that strand and thinking, yeah, yeah, that's that's a great one for her to you know for her jewellery. Yeah. But for me, I've got a sister and my mum, and I've got a daughter. So for me, I'd split that into three, and I'd make each one it's exactly the same bracelet, a chainmail bracelet with some diamond charms on there, and that would be my gift to them that they could then pass on, you know, well, my mum and my sister are giving it to me, obviously, <laughs> that my me, me, me daughter can sort of like yeah. have that something to pass on for her then as well. Yeah. But that's what I would do with that. I, that would be for my family. I would make yeah. jewellery just for, for them. Absolutely. And what prices are we chatting, you know, if we are mm. to do that? If I was to do a chainmail bracelet in sterling silver mm. with, um, with diamonds on there, You've got. If I was to sell it, it would be over. You'd have, it'd be about three hundred, two, three hundred, because of the work that goes into the chainmail weave and the amount. It depends on the amount of chain of the jump rings that you use with the chainmail weave that you use. Yeah. But yeah, it would definitely between the two and three hundred pound mark, mm -hmm. and I'd only probably use about seven diamonds just dotted around yeah. on those feather light head pins that we did at the beginning. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's. If I saw that and it was a birthday a big birthday then I'd be saying yeah. definitely love that one thing that's really really important that I point out to you right now as well is you've got to check out those baskets how many of you got in baskets fair few like 20 but pretty much just over 20 in baskets I'm being told now I've got to point out for you something that's really really important these are totally ethically sourced diamonds i think it's something that we actually do not talk about that much on show probably because we have to be extremely careful as to exactly what we say but you are buying safe in the knowledge that these are ethically sourced diamonds i can't say that necessarily every single company in the world could say that we've all heard stories we've all seen the news we've all seen tales you are getting with the genuine gemstone company completely and absolutely real deal not faux, not, uh, you know, synthetic, not ones that have been created in a lab, ethically sourced, beautiful gemstones, and that includes diamond, which as we know, and as we've heard, and as we've seen, uh, you know, can't always say that, and it really can't. Ours are, you know, we are a family owned business. We are a family run business. We have such great, great, great um, connections with so many of our mine owners um, that actually when it comes to our diamond mines, we know the mine owners by name. When we put an order in, we will ring the um, mine owner themselves straight away. In Africa, actually, for our diamond mines that we go to and visit, it's the ones where, you know, sometimes when you see um, members of staff and presenters from different channels and this channel's going around, Around and you'll see like their VTs and um, the diamond mine owners are actually the ones who generally they will stay with them whilst they're there if they're in that area they'll actually stay with them or stay nearby with them go out for meals with them it's a friendship that we have with mine owners from this area and that is absolutely imperative to us it completely and absolutely is so I want you to sit at home buying safe in the knowledge of three things one you're getting something that is stunning to look at. And you absolutely are, it's faceted diamond. Two, that you are purchasing something that for three carats worth of genuine diamond is an absolute bargain. And it completely is. And three, 
you can buy safe in the knowledge that you are buying an ethically sourced diamond you know again i do have to be very careful what i say but obviously we've heard the stories we've seen the news we've even seen films related to diamonds perhaps not you know sourced or taken out of the ground or sold on in the most ethical way but we absolutely have very 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 carefully collected these and, and worked with the mine owners so get them whilst you can because do you know what they're beautiful it's a great price and you can buy safe in the knowledge that these are absolutely and ethically sourced as well so to every single one of you who's got it massive pat on the back because you're doing something really really good there you truly truly are you're doing something great there and don't forget as well with things like this because of the connections we do have with those mine owners it's not like with this with this gemstone it's not like there's 50 60 70 80 different mines in africa it's just not like that we do have connections with just one or two main mines in africa so we do know the mine owners like i said in particularly well when it comes to things like diamond because essentially it's so rare and so scarce that we will have it on show we do build up those connections so you know you are helping us with you know the the profit as you know as a company we give a lot of profit back to places like Afri africa to build schools and work locations and work areas and um, for the miners who work in mines like this so you are honestly you know you're buying something gorgeous you're getting it at a great price but also you're doing a bit of good as well and that's a fantastic thing to be able to say so well done to every single one of you who's got it i need these diamonds in my life says jazz yeah why not jazz get them in your life today um I will say to you though, you've got to be extremely quick because once people checked out, how many would they have approximately? Approximately 10 left. Um, Becky, what did they put in your tea today? 149.95? Feel like I'm dreaming. Jazz, you're right. Do you know what they put in my tea? Coffee, love, that's what it is. Um, no, that's astonishing, isn't it? I would never expect that and obviously no. you didn't either. No I didn't, no. Um, earlier in the week I bought a beautiful strand of natural turquoise and if there's any left when I get out of the studio I'm going to be buying these diamonds to go with that natural turquoise because I think with the two, the two natural gemstones, two rare gemstones but two very well known gemstones like I said, I was going to make something for my sister and my mum and my daughter and then whatever's left, mm. I'm going to put with my, my turquoise for a piece just for me. Mm, precious. And then I will probably put it away and not dare wear it because <laughs> I just look at it and stroke it and stroke smile it and at love it. it. Now and again. But no, they, to get, I can remember when we used to get diamond chips, you know, on strands and they were small diamond chips and we thought, you know, all our birthdays had come at once as jewellery makers. Now we are true jewellers when we get to work with these kind Truly. of... Truly. Uh, Georgina. Ooh, that price, that adamantine luster, that sparkle. Mmm, noms. I love that. Thank you very much for that, Georgina. You're absolutely right. It is a stunning luster on that. I saw, I craved, <laughs> I bought. Wow, wow, wow. It's all for me. <laughs> I've just added that laugh, but um, you know, I, I think that's what you did. Um, well done to you. Hey, yeah, keep it to yourself if you want to, but you know, if people are gonna want to share it with you, absolutely get them to. Working out about two pounds eighty-ish per diamond. What? Well done. Um, I've got single figures of those left once everybody checks out. So do treat yourself to them today because it is sensational. Well done, everybody. Last chance opportunity for you now. One, four, nine on that. Once everybody checks out, I'd probably have about ooh, nine, eight, nine left. That's it. Eight or nine left. So well done to everybody. Chain, did you say? Is that what you said? No. Chain. Coming up with a spotlight deal. Brand new chain. Lucky dip chain selection and you get approximately 10 meters worth in total big amount mm. see we could do these for less than oh i don't know 30 pounds nope well we're gonna <laughs> um i've got that coming up for you later on well it's been a while since we've had some jump rings hasn't it did you get the dvd did you what box did you say sorry puppet chops oh over here yeah. um if you didn't, don't worry, I've still got a fair a, a few of those uh, DVDs left. It was our brand new DVD with the lovely Fleur. It's coming in for you in a little bit at the bottom of your screen, European Weaves. But these are going to be great to add to your stash because guess what? They're nine mil. 
Fleur, nine mil jump rings are going to be, uh, have got to be some of the larger size jump rings yeah. that we do here at Jewelry Maker. These are the newest size that we do and they have opened up another or oh, if i say a hundred weaves i'm underestimating, underestimating. Yeah. they've opened up so many more weaves that we can now bring to demo um things like viper basket things like your um helms weave which we were only be able to do in the stone and silver ones before because it was a little bit too tight sometimes with the with the copper plated okay. ones mm. we can now do helm weave there is so much we can do gsg we can do with these large ones we can do fabulous designs and also as well they're great for the larger gemstones if you want to use them as spacers. Because before, with the smaller jump rings, they got lost in between, say, 10 mil jump rings, uh, 10, 10 mil, mil beads. gemstones, yeah. Um, whereas these now will hold their own against the larger, gem, uh, larger gemstones as well. So for me, these, these were just amazing when mm. I saw that we were getting these in, mm. because like I say, I just wrote down a whole list of weaves that I can now bring. And we can start to look at more complex weaves where we do tend to use these larger weaves. Yeah, perfect for that, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely sensational. Um, that, by the way, was Angela walking into Gemma's bust. Hello, Angela. <laughs> Angela's coming up on DI for you later. Got some gorgeous pieces. Um, so we have got here so many of you purchasing these. It is one of our newest sizes. They are nine mil. Um, it's going to be great for really adding actually another dimension there for to your designs, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I did one last uh, a weave last night where I. I was playing around with half Persian 3 and 1 and I did it in two different sizes and it looks really lovely. Mm. So you can use your 7mm and your 9mm now and it gives like a, a beautiful zigzag effect to it. So ah. like what we said before, don't be put off if it says um, this weave can only be done in 5mm in a diameter. Have a play with, yeah. with, you know, with your jump rings. Do the full Persian and it will fall flat and it becomes a flat Persian and it, it then looks a really gives a different technique a different look to it so have a play with these different jump rings don't be um stuck in what it says on the on the on, on the, the ingredients if you like. or whatever. Yeah. yeah yeah so have have a go with different jump ring sizes and again like we said if you're a beginner and you're learning these are great as your practice rings because you've got that more surf, more area to see where that ring goes mm. into the weave mm. it's perfect isn't it um about 87 opportunities left over half of my stock has gone treat yourself to it today your price point just six pounds and 95 pence to get your hands on a massive 209 mil jump ring. So don't forget, these are one of the biggest pieces that we do, which means yeah. you've got a serious amount of metal. Well, I was going to say, to cut 200 jump rings in five millimeter would take X amount of metal. To cut 200 jump rings in nine millimeter will take nearly double the amount of metal, amount of Cut wire out. to coil. Yeah. And they're the same price. Mad, isn't it? It's, that's just crazy. It's amazing, yeah. though, isn't crazy. it? Yeah, it's great. It is fabulous, and if you've got the DVD, then grab these because you know you can start to do all those weaves. You could do a really beautiful. If you wanted to do a chainmail bag, and I know someone messaged me about a chainmail bag before. You could do a, the European four in one in this. It becomes an open weave, but it becomes quicker to weave. So the larger the jump ring, the quicker the piece grows, if you like, as well. I get so you. you could do a beautiful chainmail bag oh, with gorgeous. these. Gorgeous. You probably need about four packs four or five packs but that bag will be worth a lot of money to yourself and to you know anybody who uh, wants to commission one that's a that's a good price of a Massively. you know be a big price bag but Massive. great to achieve a bag out of chain mail out of chain yeah. mail yeah. yeah so satisfying yeah. once yeah. you've done it so satisfying i've got 24 opportunities left it looks to me like there's more in baskets that dvd for you on your screen right now 4.95 for you 49 in baskets, 22 left. The thing it's safe to say that that's going to be a goner. Um, I have got something else that's going to be a goner. It is your chains. It's going to be our spotlight deal. <laughs> chains. We all need them. We all use them. We use them all the time for lots of different mediums. And now you've got a big stash for you here now. Have you seen the new four packs that we've been doing? I did for you yesterday on Designer Inspiration, eight meters worth of, of chain similar to this, eight meters worth of chain, and we sold it for um, 19.95 for, for eight meters worth. Great price, lots of different um, looks to them. 
With this, you're going to be getting 10 meters worth. So we're serious amount here. And it is a lucky dip. So I'm getting things like the opportunity to own the Figaro chain, one of the most loved chains we've ever had. I get the chance to own things like your structural chains. For example, these ones that I have here that give you that structure, as you just saw. I've got the opportunity to own different colours of things like the Figaro chain, including that gold. I've got gold, I've got rose gold, and I've got silver coming in here as well. Now, the wonderful thing about this collection is you know you're going to be getting 10 metres worth. You know it's going to be your copper based as well. And you know that you're going to be getting different feels of your um, chain. I love with the Figaro design that you have a simple spacing structure. I love with the um, flattened over loop design that you get that, that rigidity, which means that the articulation is not as fluid as you might normally expect for our chains, which means that you're actually able to use it as a base. Um, I used uh, the rigid chain um, relatively recently um, to create um, the frame for a tree of life pendant and it worked really beautifully because it is so rigid and it holds that beautiful tree of life in beautifully but actually what I was able to do as opposed to the usual round shape I was able to do a teardrop shape which gave it a beautiful look really nice effect but then because of the way I've classed it I'd be able to carry that frame not only just as a frame but all the, all the way around the neckline so it was just using one piece of chain it wasn't all these extra bits these extra bales it's just one continuous piece which is what you can do with things like the rigid chain you've got the chance to get your hands on heart shaped chain maybe in this who knows you've got the chance to get your hands on say some of that perfect um, circular uh, chain that we've been doing of late that really gives you that sparkle some of that diamond shine chain that we've been getting in for you you have the chance of owning today as well it all is just a lucky dip all that I can guarantee is you will definitely be getting your copper. And now when it says copper, by the way, we're not talking about the colour, we're talking about the base. Copper, and you will also be getting 10 metres worth in total. How much would you be paying for a Figaro chain for a metre's worth in your DIY stores, in your local shops? It can be way up there in price, can't it? Yesterday, like I said, when I bought you those um, 8 metres worth, was it eight? Yeah, it was eight meters worth. It was it was eighty. It was eighteen ninety five or, or nineteen ninety five. It was it was one of those. It was eighteen ninety five or nineteen ninety five. Um, and again, those were you know copper based, just like this one. I have got a massive amount for you here today, and it is ten meters worth in total. Now, Fleur, what do you use chain for? I use chain for my chainmail pendants, where I don't want to to keep the cost down. I use a, a ready made chain to add a pendant to. I use chain for tassels. I love chain tassels in, in pieces, so like necklaces and bag charms even. Um, I also love making body chains. So I'll do a chain mail section at the front of the body and then I'll use these chains to connect it all together. Mm, I love that idea. And I love the fact that you've got all the different kinds of chains and the different colorways within the chains. That is what, for me, I love about this, this bundle because you always need chain. Oh yeah. You always need little anklets, you know, some of the Figaro uh, chains, perfect as a charm bracelet. Because you've got the elongated link, which is perfect for your jump ring to go through to add your charm onto. And it carries on that lovely design all the way through. Mm. Like you say, the structure chain, if you want to do like a scallop necklace, it's fabulous because you just squeeze it together, pop a jump ring through, and it holds that form. All of these chains, and then you've got your curved chain, which I the, the open link chain, which I use as extender chains. So I always put extender chains on all my pieces that aren't chain mail because I can chain mail an extender piece if you like, but if it's just a, a beaded piece or it's um like crochet piece, I can add an extender chain to it as well with this with these chains. Um, do get yourself uh, your hands on a few of these if you want to, you know, you can get yourself two or three of these if you want because, by the way, uh. Am I right in saying the price they can see isn't the price? Yep. Uh, so do treat yourself to two or three of these because the price you can see is 19 95 It's a great price for a lucky dip. But we are going to roll it down. We are rolling it down for you. The price today is working out, actually, 
about £1.49 per metre of beautiful genuine chain in silver, in gold, in rose gold. You're going to get a mix of colours. You're going to get a real mix of colours, which is just going to be beautiful to add to your collection. What do you think of that price point, Blair? We get two necklaces out of one metre chain, can't you? Yes. And then depending on how long your necklace is, depending, you can get an anklet or a bracelet as well out of, of that. But all the little ends, like we said about the, the um, chain tassels, you can put the tassels <laughs> oh, on as well. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, bless you. <laughs> um, you, can use, you can use these in so much more. I've added these to, to a dress as well. I've added chain to a dress for the straps. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the straps that were on there, so I added our chains mm. as the straps. But at that price for all 10 metres, you could make that beautiful dress that Gemma Crow made, the chain dress. Yeah, you yeah. Could that, make see that. that one she made yesterday as well. Oh, did she make the yeah, one yesterday? Yeah, yeah, She made a gorgeous so one yesterday. You could make that, you know, link them together with your jump rings. So if you need to link your chains together, use your jump rings and link it together. You know, mix the metals up. I would try and use them all in one big leg because chain is everywhere. Mm. Layers of chain is everywhere at the minute and necklaces. Mm. I'd probably use about five or six together in one piece. Yeah, definitely. Have just like one big. Definitely. And we've got a queue on the phone line. It's approximately a minute and a half. Angela, you work with chain a lot, don't you, my love? I do. And I can actually see some of the pieces you're showing on DI today are chains. What is it? Great. Come here. Why don't you come and stand next to me? Lovely Angela's in because there's loads of you coming in for this. Yeah, okay. Hello, gorgeous lady. Hello. Um, chains. Perfect. Give me a hug. <laughs> Mwah. Um, perfect for if you're selling your jewellery. Yes. Why? It, chain is a very contemporary look. Mm -hmm. It's massive on the market at the moment. Um, but in terms of your design, it makes your designs go so much further. Mm. So you can take one beautiful gem and create a very simple pendant. Or you can get a very contemporary look by putting loads of chains together, mm. interspersing it, layering it, uh, include them in your earrings and your bracelets. Some people just like the look of chain on its own. Yeah. So there's so many uses for it. Mm. I have absolutely loads of chain in my stash. Yeah. Absolutely loads. And um, different sizes, different colours. You could mix all the colours together. Yeah. Have them stand alone. The uses of on and on. For me, it's a must have. Yeah. Absolute must have. It's fantastic, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. And uh, this is the lucky dip, so they don't know what designs wow. they're going to get. All they know is it's 10 metres worth and it's working out £1.49 a metre. <laughs> Goodness I've me. never seen you go that quiet, Angela. That is a very, very, very good price because I know before I found Jewellery Maker and I was going to my local stores, you could pay £2.53 upwards for a metre. £2.50 for it, a metre. Wow. But it's working out one pound forty nine here. That is really, really good. And the chains I was getting, mm. I don't are these um, gold plated. You've got plated? yeah, gold plated, silver yeah. plated, rose gold plated. They weren't even that. It was the gold tone. Painted. Mm. It was tone. So the value, um, wow, that is really good. But again, you know, you can get classic looks very contemporary, very modern and sophisticated. It's great for children, it's great for old people in the whole range. Even some of the designs uh, of the links are great for men. Yeah, definitely well. agree with that. Perfect for that. Yeah, love so, it. So many uses. Angela, you're a little love. Thank you so much. You're on Designer Inspiration, I am, aren't you? Yes. Fantastic. We will stay tuned for you. Thank you, Angela. Thanks, I'll let you carry on setting up. Bless her. Um, exactly. Perfect. You know, um, great for men's designs, great for female designs, great for all ages great for contemporary and you know Angela's just said then when she used to buy chains before she found jewelry maker per meter paying upwards from approximately two pounds fifty you're getting it for one pound forty nine and that is astonishing get them whilst you can these are your copper based chains in um, the silver color I've got here I've got the rose gold color and I've got that golden color it's a lucky dip just go for it you know go for it lucky dip it does what it says on the tin I can't tell you exactly what you're gonna get I Apart from exactly what you can see on the screen, you'll get 10 one metre lengths and you'll be paying approximately 149 per metre. So do check those out. Great way of making your money. Um, great way of adding kind of texture to your pieces and essentially a really, really good and fun way to make your gemstones go further. Let's face it. Lovely. If you just did um, like a rosary link, 
break it up, just put one gemstone in each, like our gemstone chains, you know, where we rose and link them all together. Break it up with some chain in between as well. Love Open those idea. links up, put a little bit of chain in. Love make that it go idea. further. Fantastic. Has your dog got a penchant for chain yet? No, not yet, just no. the sofa. Chewing the sofa or scratching the sofa? Chewing at the minute. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's not too bad though. Still got yeah. baby teeth? Yes, yeah, yes yeah. she has, yeah, like little needles they are. Oh, blimey, yeah. tell yeah. me what. Pain, aren't they? Are you gonna keep the baby teeth? If I find them, I might put them into some resin, couldn't I? With some of her hair. Yes, because you, weird, you do that for horses, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do, you, I do. She yeah. does um, horse um, yeah. tail and Horse hair, hair and, and yeah. pet hair, and I've done lion mane, and I've done all sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots, of, lots of different animals I've put in hair into resin. Not put animals into resin. No. <laughs> Just their hair. <laughs> Just their hair, of course. Um, but no, yeah, you can. You can you can set anything into resin. Yeah, but, of course you can. But yeah, no. A bit of resin, a bit of chain, a bit of a tooth, sort it. That's it. Be mm. a bit of a, it'd be one that you'd keep in your drawer, wouldn't it? Just to remind you. I wouldn't think I'd wear it out. <laughs> one of her teeth. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to get you to make one uh, for my mulberry's teeth now, <laughs> which I keep in a little box if you'd like to. So that's nice. Keep yeah. it in a box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you got um, 10 of those. And speaking of 10, 10 strand mystery gemstone bundle. Did you see this earlier? If you didn't, oh my goodness, don't worry, you're not too late. This is astonishing, and I'll tell you exactly why. Today, you have the opportunity, and uh, today and today only, right? Yeah, because I know you're, we're not being announced until the 16th of July, but today and today only, no, that's a lie. Today and tomorrow only, up until nine o'clock, isn't it? Because of the repeat, you get the chance to not only own 10 strandles, at, uh, strandles, 10 strands at 25 pounds, which works out approximately two pounds 50 per strand, but you've also got the chance to win, not one, not two, <laughs> not three, not four, not five, not six, not, <laughs> <laughs> not seven, not eight, not nine, not, but not, <laughs> We've put <laughs> 10 <laughs> prizes. You've got the chance to win today. And <laughs> prizes are great for this. You'll get entered into a prize draw if you purchase this today or in the morning on the repeat. So if you're watching before 9 a.m. on Sunday morning and you buy this, you're still entered into the draw. Um, and you are entered into the draw, you get the chance to win prizes that include two places on Fleur's lovely workshop. Two, no, sorry, three DVDs, new DVDs signed a la Fleur, and five of Fleur's pieces of jewellery as well, which is an amazing collection. So it's not just one person who gets to own it, which means you get 10 chances to win. That is astonishing, isn't it? Really is fantastical. And Fleur is just showing us now the five pieces you have the chance of winning. Do you want to have a look at them? These are the ones you get the chance to win in this competition. If you buy this, you have to buy this, you're not just entered into it willy-nilly. So talk us sorry, through oh, what people have the chance of winning. Um, we've got this beautiful Japanese flower bracelet here. So this is Japanese flowers. Yeah. Um, this is a European four-in-one diamond which is used with those stunning lapis lazuli and the, what they call mechanical beads. The mechanical Me spaces, beads, yeah. yeah. The same sort of design in a necklace, but with even more chain mail and then rosary linked round to the side. Gorgeous. And then it? the next necklace along is the helm weave with those stunning shell flowers, which I adore. Love that. Um, and then the last necklace is a Romanov weave, which I've uh, um, woven together five of them to create um, a more structured pendant. Um, and that's using the pearls. Fantastic again, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. It, yeah, fantastic. So you have the chance to win one of those. All you've got to do is get your hands on this 10 strand mystery kit. And don't forget, you know, it, you are also getting 10 strands here. It's not just you're entering a competition, you're getting 10 strands. £2.50 per strand. 
You could get anything in here. You could get pearls, you could get labradorite, you could get tantalite, you could get sapphire, you could get fluorite, you could get carnelian, which by the way, we're not getting in at the moment. Um, so amazing selection you could get. And even, you know, um, don't forget, you can buy yourself a couple of these. And if you don't, don't particularly like one, you know, send one back. 25 pounds worth there, it's just amazing. It's not even 25 pounds worth, is it? Well, that's how much you're paying today early bird bracelet i've got to recap for you quickly now this was a gorgeous selection that you can make and it was a new collection as well for you to make your own bracelets with we started off with the uh, bangle wire itself which is one size fix all because as you can see all you have to do is scooch it up and you know you can make it larger you can scooch it down and make it smaller it's absolutely up to you so it's going to fit loads of different um, sizes and then you have a collection of your charms that you can hang on here so i've got hearts on here i've got stars i've got dimpled effects i've got um um kind of tags that you can put initials in if you want to i've got heart shapes and, and flower shapes i've got jump rings in here you know that can and hang these pieces from your bangle base i've also got the gemstones rose quartz your um, moonstone your um gorgeous february's birthstone amethyst and your labradorite all of those are four mil all of them are on the um the um, featherweight head pins as well. So all you have to do is link on those jump rings. By the way, of the jump rings, you got 50. And of those um, four mil beads um, as well, you got 10 of those in total. So you can, you know, absolutely adorn this if you want to. You could just have one piece if you wanted as well. Only 14 pounds and 95 pence for you. Great price, isn't it? What would look really lovely is just to add the jump rings onto the bangle. Yeah. Just open them up and put them on the bangles for a real, like, contemporary look. Yeah. And Beautiful then you sound. could, yeah, and yeah. you could add then little charms as and when you wanted afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That's maybe what I would do if I had one of those. Yeah. And then use the gemstones as a rosary link mm. and just open and close the jump rings to make the rosary chain. Mm, perfect for that, aren't they? Um, I've got for you now something else that is a bit findings tastic because you've been loving your findings today. It's that time of year we have to stock up, isn't it? I've got a findings collection here for you in the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. And these are your shepherd hooks collection. So you're going to be getting seven different styles of shepherd hooks, but you're going to be getting them in three different colours. So if I go through these quickly, you're going to be getting um, one with your double ball spaces on the bottom. You're getting the swan neck selection. You are also getting the ones that have the um, dimpled heart section at the bottom. You get the ones with the gizmo coil, the spacer and the gizmo coil, so nice and elongated. You're getting the lock set as well, which are extremely popular. We haven't had these on in ages. The lock section, so you can go really, really, really heavy and bejeweled and gorgeous on your earrings, but they will still lock into place. I've then got for you the twisted earring design, which just gives you a real nice contemporary feel. Go great with that lucky dip chain we had earlier on. And I've also got the um, ones that have the teardrop. These ones are all snuggling each other. Uh, ones that have got the teardrop effect at the bottom uh, there, as you can see. Again, you've got them in gold, silver, and your rose gold. Let me get the colours out for you. And we're going to slash the price, Dion's just told me. Um, so you're getting all three in three different colours, but you do get the same designs. Three pairs in each design, by the way, which means you're getting approximately 63 pairs in total. So three pairs of each colour, by the way. Your price point today. Oh, that's the should be price. Well, oh, love this. That's the should be price. We are going to roll it down for you. Your price point today is added to your order price. Stop yourself. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence for sixty-three pairs. How much is that per pair then? Calculator. That is amazing. Fourteen pence. No way. 14 pence per pair. No way. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? If you're thinking, you know, even, um, like we've already spoken about this today, but you know, Mark will be saying that he sells this for five pounds. You know, Fleur, it'll depend, but could be 10, 15 pounds. They're working out per pair at this reduced price, 14 pence, discuss. <laughs> 14 pence, so. Again, what we said about the um, school fate, the, you know, village fate, ten pounds table, you know, your mystery ten strand bundle. How many pairs of it? All you would need is head pins, then. So, uh, you know, head pins off the website. Your chain bundle. So, like Angela said, you could do just a chain 
hanging off of those earrings. You've got those lever back, the ones that lock in for your higher end gemstones. I always save those for my, for my high end, my gems of distinction, so that they're more secure in your ear. Yes. But yeah, you could have a whole, a whole stand just of earrings and at five pound a pair, mm. with two gemstones and two head pins. Mm. Earrings are your biggest money maker. Of course they are, Because yeah. they take seconds, to, well not seconds, but minutes, minutes to do. To um, and they take up less space on your um, crafting, uh, on your table as well. On, whereas you think if you had like 10 necklaces, it takes up a lot of space. 10 pairs of earrings on a board doesn't take very much space up no. in your selling space. Absolutely. And don't forget with things like the lock earrings that we don't have in often at all, you know, if you did get da 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 diamond, then you're going to want something like the lock, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Aren't you? you need that to. Well, I, for me personally, I want to feel secure in them. So if you haven't got a post and butterfly back, yeah, this yeah. then, for if you like the the drop look, yeah, this yeah. is the safest option for me because it hooks into the back and it is very very safe. Because if you've got long hair like yourself, and, you know, you can sometimes dislodge your earring a little mm -hmm. bit and you know if you keep getting stuck in your hair with these ones you know that they're not gonna no but and it is that it does avoid against that dreaded point whereby you're uh, dancing and then you realize that one of your earrings is gone, gone. Yeah. and you have to look back on photos don't yeah. you what point did i lose yeah. that earring my <laughs> yeah. favorite earring or you see it fly across the dance floor and yeah you're exactly to find with it. a cool yeah. hand flick yeah yeah <laughs> yes. just to really follow it up yeah. and then do you go after it and look like a yeah. fool do you no. leave it that's, see that's the thing isn't it depends what it is <laughs> doesn't it <laughs> that's your dilemma oh, things we go through <laughs> i tell you what um just to reiterate for you three pairs of each design in each color so three of these 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 etc eight pounds and 95 pence i can't believe that it's just a great one isn't it so for anybody that's even if you're just starting out earrings are great to start out with and build your confidence because when you're making jewelry if you want to start selling it it's your confidence in selling it and that's angela says yeah. as well you know the first couple of times you sell pairs of earrings you know go to work you've got a nice pair of earrings in people say i love those it's so and so's birthday then you know you're going you gain your confidence in selling your jewelry and earrings are a perfect way because they're not they're very cost effective to yeah. make absolutely yeah. totally cost effective mm. for that reason 895 for you today well done everyone we pop those in there now quick recap because i have got single figures left once everybody checked out earlier on take a little look at this beauty nice hand cast <laughs> it's all right i love how you went oh <laughs> How gorgeous is that as a strand of genuine real deal diamond? Guess how many I counted? And this was a really, really, really kind of slight underestimation. I counted to less than halfway. I counted to about, was it about here? And got to 25. That's not even halfway. If you're looking at it, that's halfway. I then said, oh, what if it was just one more? And I made it 26. We worked out that if and that would be lowest I could imagine. You had 52 diamonds on your strand. That would be the lesser amount that I could imagine you having. If you're working out about two pounds 80 per diamond at that price, which is unheard of. But I tell you what, to own yourself a legacy and to own yourself an heirloom today like this is astonishing. To own it at that price is amazing. We have had strands of diamonds that have been fasted in on for 197.95 approximately. And those are the ones that were made up of, you know, six diamonds. You've got about, and I'm saying it, you know, low rate, about 52 um, on this strand. And you know, let's just double check it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that's not halfway, is it? Because that's my midway point. So it's actually 25, 26, 27, 28, about 29. So I've got more like 60 oh, actually. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh. Astonishing. Um, how, oh, loads in baskets actually. And 27, two seven in baskets and I don't have that many left 
So it is fastest finger first right now. Honestly, treat yourself to these, why not? Because they are sensational and working out about two pounds something each is fantastic. Um, more left than I do have. One quick recap for you now of one of my most loved gemstones in the entire world. It's in some of the largest pieces I've seen as well. It is your most luxurious of all the jades, your jade eye. It's gorgeous. Myself and Fleur were going gaga over this earlier on, in particular because of that price point. Just um, £37.95 in total, which is astonishing for one of the rarer gemstones in the world. It's in your top 10. You've got 300 carats worth here and they were 10 mil rounds. You were saying that you'd be pairing these with, with your rose gold colour, weren't yeah, you, Fleur? Yeah, I'd love this with the rose gold. Um, I think that those two... For, for me, that's a very feminine um, combination of the two. And because they're both both such warming colours, I think for me, but equally as well with sterling silver and with the, you know, with nine carat gold sterling silver, it would still look as beautiful. It would just give off a different look. But for me personally, the rose gold is where I would go with that. Totally, yeah, absolutely. 37.95 for it as well, which you think? Well, if there's any left when I leave the studio in a minute, then I'll be buying two of these because I've not seen it in this size before ever. I've seen it in the 6mm and the 8mm, never seen 10mm. No. And when you're looking at, say, a weave like a full Persian weave, which is more chunkier weave, these 10mm rounds look perfect on the end of those bracelets because it follows suit all the way through. It follows that nice shape all the way through. So you haven't got a small weave and a large gemstone or vice versa. So that's what I will be using. And I might make myself just one full J bracelet just for myself. Just and to keep. Just for me to keep. Just yeah, that's what I tend it. to do with a lot of my gemstones. Is it? Brands. Why is yeah, that? half of that. Well I make I make the other half pay for my jewellery then. So um I sort of like tend to say, well, half of that's mine and half of it is to sell and then I get the money back for the you know, for the components of making the jewellery for me as well. That's just the way I look at it. I bet you don't do it with all of the gems though, do you? Not not all of them. Special my, ones. Special ones. My turquoise that I'm hopefully picking up in a minute, I will be. I, uh, I need to have nosy at that, if that's okay. Yeah, it's, it looks stunning. I couldn't believe it when it was on. I've been waiting so long for a strand like that. And something like this as well, so I should be buying this one. Yeah, and it'll go perfectly with yeah, it, won't it? Yeah, it'll look beautiful together, won't perfectly. it? Perfectly. And both with the rose gold as well. Oh, oh, to I give that lovely. real femininity. Yeah, real Love. femininity. Love that idea. Now, if you have just tuned in, we have been talking chain mail today. And we have got Fleur's lovely chain mail DVD here. Um, just in kind of one minute, yep. um, explain to us exactly what we're getting with this DVD, Fleur. So we're learning five different weaves, but variations within the weaves. It's for beginners and people who have tried chain mail before. It works with all mediums. If you're an expert in a different medium and you want to add something different into it, use your chain mail's fabulous for that. Great for men's makes, great for feminine makes, great for adding with your gemstones. Uses different sizes of jump rings, so if you've got jump rings waiting at home to have some inspiration. All these weaves are quite old weaves as well, so they've, they've, sort of, they've had historic backgrounds in um, maybe in armour like the European 4-in-1. And look, it's great. It's a great DVD. So I something think. for everyone, yeah. you know, no matter kind of why you're interested in, yeah. in, in yeah. your jewelry making. Yeah, there's no no beginner and advanced. I don't think with chainmail, it's just how you learn mm -hmm. and whichever one you choose to to learn first. And the very first project is one that is perfect for someone who's only ever just picked up a pair of pliers before. It's fantastic. So absolutely sensational well done everyone who already got this do keep checking out those baskets though loads in baskets by the look of things four pounds and 95 pence for around about an hour of, of tuition is just sensational and you know the ones that are highlighted on the front are the ones yeah, that we get to learn that's it yeah so you learn five five weaves but within two of those weaves there's def different variations mm. in within that weave as well so in effect there's more like seven weaves that you could say yeah. that were in there it's fab, isn't it? And this was your challenge. We yeah. gave lovely Fleur a pack of seven mil jump rings yep. in the silver. And this is what you created. What have you done here for us, lovely? So this one is called GSG, or Great Southern Gathering, as they call it. And I've done a half Persian four in one. And I've still got enough left to do another half Persian four in one or three in one left. How easy so is that? So it just proves that, I think there was 400 jump rings in my, in my challenge. There was, yeah. Um, Did it sell out? 
sold out. Mm -hmm. I think it was 9.95, but mm. look what you can create with chainmail. That's what I love about it. It's cost effective. You can create substantial pieces of jewelry that look like they could, you know, have walked in out from a jeweler's. You know, yeah. it is it's so uniform and everybody's will always look the same, which is Fab, another lovely thing to do with chainmail. Oh, yeah. I just love them. Fleur, yeah. thank you thank for you. that. Thank you for letting us all have your DVD yeah. as well. Thank you. Thank Fantastic. You. Don't forget that ten strand bundle and competition is still up for grabs. Not sure what I'm on about. Have a little look back because ten uh, prizes do get to be won for that. Fleur, thank you very no much problem. for thank you. today. It's been fantastic. Um if you do want a chance to win uh, any of those prizes, you do just have to treat yourself to that bundle, including things like signed DVDs and play some clothes workshop as well. So it's £2.50 per strand. And um, I have got beautiful pieces for you tomorrow, including stunning tanzanite and that gemstone I personally have never seen before. I can't wait. Have a lovely evening. Stay tuned for Angela. I'll see you Bye. soon. My name's Leslie. Today I've been on the Structured Wire Work course with Gemma Crow. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I've been used to doing quite a lot of wire work, but always with smaller gauges. And I've been a bit wary of and to know what to do with the thicker gauges. And today Gemma's taken us through a beautiful talk necklace this morning that looked totally impossible when we first saw it, but it's really quite easy. She's made it very easy, very simple steps. Um, and that's turned out brilliantly. And we're now working on bangles, and then we're going to do a ring. So we're covering a wide range of things. It's gonna give me the confidence to go back and be able to do some more at home. If you attend a workshop in June, you will receive a fantastic 20% discount in our Jewelry Maker shop. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience.